What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my full WWE Elite Action Figure Collection of 2021. So as you guys can see, we have filled up like this entire table. We got customs, we got the full elites and everything. You guys can see the shelves are pretty damn bare. I left all my basics. That's the basic Jeff Hardy up there. We have all of my loose elite figures. We have all of my customs off here to the side. We're going to cover the AEW collection, the John Cena collection. We have everything lined up right here, guys. This is going to be a long one, so buckle the hell up. I cannot believe it's already collection video time again, but you guys know how these videos work. We're going to take each figure one by one, put it up to the camera, showcase the figure, and move it along to the next figure and go all the way through my loose entire WWE Elite action figure collection. This year we are including all the women's figures. There may be one or two left out, but I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Again, this is only my Elite figures. No Jax figures, no basics. We are going to get the customs. We are going to get the AEW figures. We are going to have to go up there and get the John Cena's as well at the very end, but we got to start off with the massive loose pile. We'll get through that, go through the customs and get all the stuff, guys, but I hope you guys hang out with me all day today here for the next couple hours probably. Who knows how long this video is going to be, but let's buckle the hell up and dive right in, guys. Let's start things off with... Who who who, who do we want to start off with? Let's start things off with the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy, the Brew 2-pack of the Hardy Boys right there. Really love that figure. I think I have quite a few of these, so we'll probably see that figure quite a bit. Next up, guys, we have the Toys R Us Network Spotlight Shawn Michaels. Next up is a Elite 52 Seth Rollins fix-up with black gloves. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on a figure just to, you know, I don't want to be here forever and ever, but I do want to showcase the figure a little bit. Next up, we have Elite 56 AJ Styles with the Elite 47 kick pads, I think. Next up is the ringside exclusive Rocky Maya Villa figure that came with the Purple Intercontinental Championship. We're back on the network spotlight, guys. We have another network spotlight. It is the TJ Perkins or TJP figure. We have an Elite, is it 18 Rey Mysterio? Elite Rey Mysterio in the black and green attire. We have the Kofi Kingston Top Picks figure. You really like the blonde hair on this one. If they're all looking to the left, I apologize because they're, you know, they're up on the shelf and stuff, but I like this attire. We have another Rey Mysterio. We have the Elite One Rey Mysterio. Pretty old figure right here, and I hate the stiffy, liffy legs, man. Look at that right there. I can't stand those old figures. We have another ringside exclusive. The ringside exclusive WrestleMania Chris Jericho. Love this figure. Wish I had a better head sculpt, but I still like it a lot. This light blue color really brings back nostalgia for me. We have a SummerSlam Matt Hardy version one. one I think this is the first ever Mattel WWE Elite to come with interchangeable hands. We have the first of many Roman Reigns. We have the Roman Reigns Elite 45 fix up with the brown vest and arm gauntlets. So that's the one of like a hundred Roman Reigns. The next Roman Reigns, guys, we have another Roman Reigns Elite that does have the red vest on there. So it's a red bands fix up or red vest, not the bands, you stupid jackass idiot. We have the, is it the Toys R Us exclusive Triple H with the black armbands from WrestleMania? I think that's the, I think that's the case. We have an Elite Enzo Amore figure. Remember when this first release? Seems like yesterday. Now it's now it's been forever. Freaking ridiculous, man. Time just flies the hell by, man. We have a Jeff Hardy Elite 75 fix up with the Survivor Series head sculpt. Love this head sculpt. Think it's fantastic. I love the Elite 75 as well. Did a couple fix ups to it to try to make like a mid 2000s Jeff. We have an Elite 52 Seth Rollins fix up in the Tron attire from SummerSlam 2016 with the, of course, the, the newer head sculpt. Not the newest one, but a newer head sculpt. We have an Elite Sami Zayn. I can't remember which one. I think this is his first one. Elite 40, maybe. This may be one of the... Uh, I don't freaking know. It may have been a TNF figure. Who, who the hell cares? Who, who cares? Next up, we have a Roman Reigns custom fix-up in the black vest with the added beard. Painted that myself. Looks pretty solid. I like that a lot. Next up is another TNF figure. We have the TNF Rock figure with the Just Bring It t-shirt. Have a lot of Rock Elites as well, so I'm sure we'll see quite a many of these. Next up, we have Elite Series 57 Ty Dillinger. Don't ever know what happened to that guy. You get what I'm saying. Saying. We have the top talents AJ Styles with the gray and blue attire. Really like this attire. I think it was WrestleMania 34 that he wore this. I, I need more head sculpts to fix this because I can't. I literally hate this head sculpt. We have the NXT Elite. My my mind went blank for a half a second. Ruby Riot. I don't know why the hell my mind went so blank. We have the MDT sold out custom Dean Ambrose where he took on Seth Rollins. Sort of a defining moments figure right here, but it is the Shield three pack Dean Ambrose with the bloody head. We have the Elite 47. Brian 
Brian Pillman figure to go with our Hollywood blonde Stone Cold Steve Austin or just regular, you know, stunning Steve Austin. We have Elite 47 Rock with the Basic 100 head sculpt on there. The, the Basic 100 figures clearly had a head scan problem, like they were way too big, but I still like it. We have the TNF Bash at the Beach 3-pack Sting with the Hurricane boots on there for some stupid reason. I think I took those boots and put on the Hurricane that you'll see later in the video, but there is the Sting figure. We have a Dolph Ziggler sort of fix-up. We have the Elite 24 Ziggler with, with an arm swap and then a custom steel in the show t-shirt. Really like the way that looks. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. I think this is a just defining moments with the Hall of Fame jacket on there or vest on there from his last match ever. We have an Elite 47 AJ Styles with some knee pads added to it, so you love to see it. We have an Elite Alexa Bliss fix-up. I think this is the Elite 53 with a head swap. Really like this. I like that this is still my favorite Alexa Bliss today, and it's a, just a regular fix-up, but it still looks damn good. We have an Elite Goldberg. I can't remember if this... Yeah, I think this is the Entrance Greats Goldberg, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. We have the Elite 64 Jimmy Uso. Is it the Elite 64? No, it's the Elite 54. Elite 54 Jimmy Uso. We have the Elite 79 Daniel Bryan. I think it's Elite 79. And the green and, yeah, the Captain Planet attire is what I like to call it with the Chuck Norris head sculpt. We have the Cash In Network exclusive Dean Ambrose with the fix-up head. I think it had the craze head on it, but I switched it out. We have an Elite 2 fix-up Randy Orton. So it's the Elite 2, but I switched out the head sculpt for more of a, you know, a modern Randy Orton and then the modern arms right there because they gave him the skinny arms back in Elite 2, so it makes it look a lot better. More of like a 2017 looking Randy Orton, to be honest with you. We have the Bootios 3-pack Kofi Kingston with the missing arm sleeve. Love to see it. We have the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy, the ECW Matt Hardy with the camo pants. Really underrated figure. I think you can get it for like $10 on ringside collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS when you, when you go over there and shop. Next up is the top talent Seth Rollins from this year or last year, whatever you want to say, in the X-Men gear. Really like the head sculpt and that attire is pretty underrated. We have my Super Cena custom right here with the smiling head sculpt. Really like the way this looks. We made a whole tutorial video on this if you guys would like to see, but I think it fits perfectly. You know, the, the head is loosey-goosey, but as far as the head to, to body to legs ratio looks really good. We have an Elite Goldberg. This is the main event Goldberg, if I'm not mistaken. The Or this may be the WrestleMania 37. I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. It's either the main event ring or it's the uh, you know the WrestleMania 37 one where you know it came with the Blue Universal title. We have an Elite 42 Triple H, pretty plain Jane. We have the Royal Rumble Target exclusive Macho Man. Never really saw any other figure from this set besides Lita. Those are the only two from that set that I ever saw. Never saw the Bobby Lashley. Never saw the Rock figure. We have a John Morrison Survivor Series fix up with the Elite Four coat on there. Really love the way this figure looks. One of my favorites from the year they released. We have the Target exclusive. Oh my God. We have the Target exclusive Network Spotlight Gender football Mahal in the yellow gear. I love this figure. Very underrated. We have a Rock fix-up. I think that, no, this is the Ultimate Edition, right? Yeah, this is the Ultimate Edition Rock. His glasses fell off somewhere. I'm guessing they'll be at the bottom of the pile, but the, there's the Ultimate Edition Rock. Just kind of put some clothes on it to fix it up. We have, I think this is the Elite One Undertaker. I could be wrong about that, but there he is. We have the Elite 53 Heath Slater. Survivor Series Walmart exclusive Bobby Roode. Don't think I've touched this one, but nah, I may have switched out the legs for Zack Ryder. I think I switched out the legs for Zack Ryder or something. We have the Hall of Fame Stone Cold Steve Austin. Have a ton of these in the collection. Survivor Series Elite Samoa Joe in the blue. One of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever made, Brad. The Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. I love this figure. I, I, I just freaking adore this figure, man. I, I literally just, it's just so fun to pose around. Absolutely. Another Samoa Joe. We have the GameStop exclusive Destroyer Samoa Joe. Love this one. We have the, is it the NXT Elite? Scott Dawson. Our first of many Elite 71 or Elite 70 Jeff Hardys with the screaming head sculpt and the pink, black, and white attire. One of the best figures of last year. Not 2020, but 2019. One of my fantasy attire, Seth Rollins, using different parts of different figures. So it's the Elite 75 with Kofi Kingston orange and black kick pads. Really love the way this came out. A lot of people like this one. We have an Epic Moments Matt Hardy with the Reborn by Fate custom t-shirt. Elite 60... No, I don't, I don't remember. Elite 67, maybe? I think it's Elite 67. Who cares? We have the Elite 77 Rick Rude figure. Elite 43 Big E if, I, if my memory serves correct in the first New Day set. RIP to Luke Harper and Brody Lee. Some of the worst news that we have received in recent months. Love Luke Harper. Love this figure. Love the head sculpt. Well, just absolutely the best head sculpt they ever made but RIP to Brody Lee slash Luke Harper. He will be truly missed. We have the Elite 75 Pete Dunn figure. We have my uh, Elite 80 Kevin Owens fix up slash pick fed Kevin Owens. Got some different legs on here.
gear and the band-aid from, you know, from MDT Live. We have another Roman Reigns. It's the Elite 45 this time with the silver decal. I remember when I used to think the Elite 45 uh, Roman Reigns had the best head sculpt ever. We have the Elite 52 Xavier Woods. I think that's the Elite 52. It may be Elite 53, but I think it's Elite 52. We have probably some of people's favorite figure of the year. We have the Elite 77 Fiend, but I think this may actually be the top picks that had the, you know, the, the reprint or the redesign on the hair to make it blonder and more lighter and more accurate. We got the Elite 43 KO, but it has the Elite 47 head sculpt. I remember we got the Elite 43 KO. We thought it was a great head sculpt. It actually sucked. And then we got the Elite 47, same thing. And then we finally got a good one with the Elite 53, maybe? I don't know. We have the NXT TakeOver Toys R Us Network Spotlight Exclusive. NXT TakeOver Dallas Finn Balor Demon figure. Love this figure. Wish they didn't use the smiley head sculpt for it, but it's still a bomb-ass figure. One of the better figures of the year that year. We have the Amazon Exclusive Attitude Era Elite Figure Stone Cold Steve Austin in the blue jeans and the SCU shirt. We have my custom promo gear ponytail smiley beard painted on Roman Reigns from when he returned this year or 2020. We have the Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa, one of the better figures of last year. Again, not 2020, but 2019. I keep feeling like it's, it's just now 2020. We have the WrestleMania Elite Triple H. God, all of them looking to the right. Damn you. There you go. We have another Elite 43 Kevin Owens. Again, just god awful head sculpt. I can't stand this head sculpt. But again, when it first released, man, everybody was like, oh, oh, I never liked it, but everybody else loved it. Not very good. We have the most recent Elite Xavier Woods. A lot of people love this figure, and I, I think I'm on that board too. Love the attire, love the head sculpt. It had that interchangeable head sculpt, a little like Snoop Dogg. You have the Kurt Angle fix up from the, uh, this is a Jax head sculpt, a, a custom blue jacket, gold medals. I mean, we did a lot of things to this figure. I love the way that one looks. We have an Elite 20 CM Punk in the Chicago Cubs gear. We have the Monday Night, my custom Monday Night Rollins gear. I got the shirt on there, and then I, I hand-painted this way back when, uh, before we got the official top talents in that same gear. We have the Defining Moments Crow Sting. Love this figure. Need to get more of it and do some fix-ups and stuff, because I, I love Crow Sting, man. WCW Sting, gotta freaking love it. We have Elite 68 Undertaker. Really underrated figure, even though it's not the most accurate. I still like it a lot. We have NXT TakeOver Elite Target Exclusive Ember Moon. I don't know why I said TakeOver, but I guess you could call it that. We have the Elite 53 Miz. No, Elite 59 Miz with a different head sculpt because that head sculpt it came with was god awful. We have my Randy Orton Elite that I still use on MDT Live. I've used the same Randy Orton since the very beginning of the pick fed and I still love it. I love this custom jacket and everything. I don't know when I'll, when I'll change it because I love it so much. We have my pick fed Aleister Black or at least this is the attire he wore at MDT Hell's Gate but it's the Elite 73 Aleister Black with the kick pads from his NXT figure and then I added wrist gauntlets and I added Seth Rollins knee pads. We have one of my favorite figures of the year, guys. We have Elite 81 Bianca Belair. What a great figure, guys. If you don't own this figure, you need to track it down. It's so damn good. It is one of the best female figures they've ever made. We have yet again another Elite 42 Triple H figure. We have Aiden English. Actually, believe it or not, I have like four or five Elite Aiden Englishes. Why? Why? Next up, we have an Elite Jack Gallagher. I think I have a couple of these, so we'll probably see him again. We got another... Is this Elite 66 AJ Styles? Another god-awful head sculpt, but it is Elite 66 AJ Styles. We have the Chase variant of Elite 66 Kevin Owens with the KO Mania 3 on there. Have a ton of custom KOs I want to have done, but uh, just, you know, the, the, the decals and the sticking and the stickers and the god-awfulness of the time and just, let's move on. Elite 13 Dolph Ziggler underrated figure, short haircut, very nice attire. We have the Elite 3 Miz. Now, this is a figure not a lot of people have or, they, they, you know, this is a figure that a lot of people don't, that I don't see around, I guess I should say. A lot of people probably own the figure, but this is a, like this is the worst gear you could ever wear to the ring, and this man chose to wear it. We have an Elite 18 Undertaker, but it's kind of busted up. You guys can see the tattoos are chipping and stuff. One day I need to like totally rebring this fi this figure to life because I love the Dead Man ink on the side and everything. Just need to you know do a little need to do a little rehaul on it or something. Next up, guys, we have the Shield Seth Rollins. This is probably the first of many we'll see of that figure. I, I, I don't know if that's the actual release or if that's the three pack from Walmart or what that is. We have another of the Survivor Series Bobby Roode. This one is with the accurate legs. We have the SummerSlam. No, 
not the SummerSlam. This is the when, the when Seth first met the Demon on Raw is what this one is. It's for, is it Elite 59 Finn Balor? I think that's what it is. Really wish they had the ripped up torso. We have the WrestleMania 32 Brock Lesnar Elite. Really love this figure. Freaking excellent stuff. We have an Undertaker that's handless and headless and just we'll just move on with her on that one. We have a Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy fix up with the Elite 75 right arm head sculpt and the Survivor Series left arm. Just kind of mix and match and Jeff Hardy is one of my favorite things to do my collection is mix and match those figures. We have the Elite 77. No, I can't. For, is it Elite 77 Christian or Elite 76 Christian? I think it's Elite 76 Christian. I think that's it. We have Elite 68 King Mabel. Love to see that. Shout out to my boy Christian for that one. We have the Elite 57 Scotty Too Hotty. I feel like this one's kind of rare. I feel like a lot of people talk about this one enough. We have one of my favorite wrestlers. We have Cedric Alexander from Elite Series 67. We have the Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive Hunter Hearst Helmsley figure or Triple H. We have the Elite 57 Shinsuke Nakamura. Really like this one as well. At least the attire. I'm not big on this head skull, but I like the attire. Don't go blurry on me, Brad. We have the Hall of Champions Road Dog. Never found the Hall of Champions Billy Gunn to go with this, but we do have the Road Dog figure at least. And this one's probably better than the Billy Gunn, even though I do like the pink on that Billy Gunn. We have a Lana figure from one of the most recent basics. We have the Elite 68 Brie Bella, I think. No, Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella, you dumb jackass. And then we have the Retro Fest. Iron Sheik. Shout out to Iron Sheik. What a homie. What a G. This is the this is the real dude. We have an Elite Sin Cara. I think it's Elite 47. No. Elite 44 Sin Cara in the black and pink and silver. We have another Elite 71 Jeff Hardy. For some reason, I can never remember if it's Elite 71 or Elite 70. I, I believe it is Elite 71, though. We have a fix-up Roman Reigns from Elite Series 68, if I'm not mistaken. It may have been the top talents figure, though. We have the Concert. No, this is not the Concert Rock, you jackass. This is a Elite 20. 22 rock maybe with a custom t-shirt and some jogging pants we have the elite 67 jeff hardy and the blue lightning camo digital stuff going on with the screaming head sculpt really like this figure you'll probably see a lot of one of the uh, uh, a lot of that one as well. We have the Undisputed Era 3-pack Adam Cole with uh, different legs on there, so it's kind of fixed up a little bit. Love that figure. We have the Survivor Series John Morrison figure. Love this one a lot. Again, this is probably, I think this is the second time we've seen it, but it has the OG head sculpt on there instead. We have an Elite 67 Randy Orton. I think this is the second or third we've seen of this one so far in the video. We have the Defining Moments Razor Ramon figure with Lucy goosey legs. Look at this. Look at that right there. I feel like this figure has a like a, an issue ton of problems with that. Custom Braun Strowman from, uh, yeah, it's just a bald Braun Strowman, just like an updated Braun Strowman. It's like the top talents with the shirtless or maybe the Elite 76. I think it's the Elite 76, but they're basically the same figure. Elite 60 or Elite 63 Triple H. I can't remember the series. Hate to see it, but it's still a beautiful figure. Love that head sculpt. We have a WrestleMania 30. I think this is WrestleMania 30 Undertaker in the red and black gear. It's a, It has some of, it, some of his accessories. Some of these figures do have their accessories on them. Some of them do not. We got the Elite 70 Finn Balor from the Jack the Ripper attire and the Demon. I repainted the hat and added some different stuff to the figure to fix it up a little bit. We have the Build-A-Figure JJ Dillon in the purple suit. This head sculpt's massive, though. I love the purple suit. I just feel like they need to make a slim body, man, and this head's all wobbly-dobbly, but yeah, that's how it was made. Aiden English again, but this time it's the Chase variant. Pale Self. We have Elite Seth freaking Rollins. We're gonna see quite a bit of that figure, I'm sure. Elite 74 Natalia. Definitely her best figure to date. You can actually move this around unlike her other elites, or not her other elites, but her other basic figures. We have a custom Velveteen Dream from MDT Hell's Gate in the uh, little Bloodline attire. You know, he was trying to mock Roman Reigns, the champion, so he dressed up like the Usos in the Bloodline. Another Shield Seth Rollins with the ponytail head sculpt. I think it's Elite 25 Seth. We have the Build-A-Figure Paul Ellering figure from the recent WrestleMania wave. I think this wave is about to hit retail. If you guys haven't gotten it from Ringside Collectibles, it should be hitting retail very soon. We have Elite 68 Daniel Bryan in the Seahawk gear. That's what I like to call it. Target exclusive NXT Seth freaking Rollins with the updated arms and legs because they made his arms and legs way too jacked. We have the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. Really underrated. I feel like this figure doesn't get enough credit, but here it is. I think it's because the head sculpts weren't the best, man. They could have done better. We have like a makeshift Bobby Roode Elite that I made way back in the day out of a Mizdow figure. We have the first of many Elite Drew McIntyres. I think this is the Elite 7. 
70 or it's the top talents, one or the other. We have another Elite Randy Orton. It is the Elite 35 Randy Orton. Really great attire right there in the blue and black and white. We have the, what is it, the Fan Central Takeover Elite Carmella in the money attire. Can't wait to get an updated Carmella because this one's not as good as it could be, especially like adding some double jointed knees and stuff like that. Elite 69 Mustafa Ali in the yellow gear. You love to see this one, Brad. The yellow attire is great. They just made his head too big in my personal opinion. Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive AJ Styles, but we did fix it up a little bit so he has an updated head sculpt. He's got a custom shirt. He's got two red gloves and two red kick pads to uh, kind of make it more of a red and white gear with some blue accents. This figure right here, I love Mark Henry to death, but this figure makes me want to pull my face off because he leans forward. It's like he has loosey-goosey ankles, man, and he just wants to lean forward and just plummet off cliffs, and he's knocked over my collection many times. Next up is Roman Reigns. I think this is the Elite 38 with a fix-up head sculpt from maybe his first Elite or something, like the way that looks way back in the day. Another Drew McIntyre, same pretty much figure that we just saw before. Trash Corbin, our first Trash Corbin figure of the collection, his first ever Elite, Elite 50. I think my brother got me this at a con when he went out of town like four years ago or something. We have, uh, what Elite? I think this is the actual Shield 3-pack Roman Reigns, except I put the ponytail head sculpt on it, so there you go. Elite 62 Sting figure in the lime green, white, and black gear. I really like these boots right here. Just don't really like this torso for Sting. Even if it is Surfer Sting, I'm not big on that torso. We have a Cactus Jack slash Mick Foley figure, the WrestleMania figure, and I really love this head sculpt. The Elite 48 Cactus Jack head on this WrestleMania Mick Foley body looks really damn good. We have another of the Cedric Alexander Elites. We have the Elite 16 CM Punk with a bandage from MDT Live, and he is wearing AJ Styles hoodie because, you know, if you know, you know. Elite 4 Kofi Kingston, one of his best elites, and I don't think they've used this torso since the earlier Kofi's. I think Elite 9 Kofi was the last time they started using this torso, so I use it on my Cedric Alexander fix-ups. We have Elite 56 Carl Anderson with the t-shirt on there and the white boot fix-up. Shout out to Balor Figs UK. Oh my god in heaven, Brad. Don't look now, but it's selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium. Dean Ambrose. Look at him with his skater shoes and his baggy pants and his white beaten shirt, man. Selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium in freaking eighth grade. Look at him. We have another Kurt Angle, guys. It's the Elite 59 Kurt Angle with the Team Angle jacket. My own custom one, though. Not the one Mattel gave us. It is actually a custom one, so it fits the figure a little bit better, in my personal opinion. We have, yet again, another Elite 64 Seth freaking Rollins. We have an Elite 9 Randy Orton right here. Really like this head sculpt. I think this head sculpt is actually really underrated, and I think it fits the time for Randy Orton really well. I think that's really good stuff right there. We have the Elite 38 Bradshaw figure, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna call him Bradshaw. It's not JBL just yet. Another Elite 47, AJ Styles. I remember when this figure sold out on Amazon like 25 times in a row, and it used to be so sought after, bro. Like, so sought after. I don't know what it goes for nowadays, but I know everybody used to lose their damn mind for that figure. Elite 75, Mandy Rose. Could have made that figure a little bit thicker, in my honest opinion. Bash at the Beach, three-pack Macho Man. Really like this figure. Like the attire and everything like that. Second Macho Man of the video so far. Survivor Series blue attire, Shinsuke Nakamura, but we did switch out the arms right there with his recent Elite, and I really like the way the black long wristbands look on this figure. We have Kyle O'Reilly from the Epic Moments Undisputed Era 3-pack. Beautiful. Love to see it. We actually have quite the Kyle O'Reilly collection here, but next up, guys, is going to be Elite 45 Bubba Ray Dudley. The only Bubba Ray Dudley we've ever gotten in Elite form. Really, I think we were supposed to get another one, but they ended up canceling it because he ended up not being under a... Like, his deal didn't get renewed or something, and it ended up ruining it. We have the ringside exclusive Flash Rey Mysterio from WrestleMania 20. What an underrated figure. He just still has that leg problem, man. The old Rey Mysterios cannot, like, kick forward. This one's a little bit better than the other. I just hate how stiff it is, man. But what a beautiful looking aspect of a figure, man. Next up is a Triple H fix-up custom, I guess. It's from when he won the Royal Rumble and won the WWE Championship. And then he went on to fight Roman Reigns in the main event of Mania, and it ended up being like the worst main event in Mania history, probably. Epic Moments Festival of Friendship Kevin Owens in the long pants and the KO Show t-shirt. We have the Elite 75 Kalisto, which is probably his best elite to date. Really underrated one. I don't feel like a, this figure gets that much credit. We have a long time ago custom Carl Anderson, man. This figure right here, I remember making this way long ago out of a Stone Cold Steve Austin, and then we finally got the official one, but I still like this figure to date, even though it's not the most accurate or anything like that. We have the Elite 65 Roman Reigns, probably one of his best figures to date. This head sculpt is phenomenal. I would use it 
today, and I actually do use it today. I use it for my, my current day Roman Reigns. This is how damn good this is. One of his best figures by far. We have another Trash Corbin man. His next figure. We have the second release of Trash Corbin. We're up to three Trash Corbins in the main Elite line, but this is the second one featured. Elite Series 57 Trash Corbin. We have Elite 47 Victor, and he is in the Wyatt Colt in my pick fed, so that's why he's dressed up like this, but there. Oh my god, his mask flew off. Next up is another Seth Rollins. It's the SummerSlam little fix-up deal where I switched a bunch of parts, and this was just kind of the leftover. Two-pack WrestleMania Mr. T from his boxing match with Rowdy Roddy Piper. You love to see that. One of the better figures of the year. I love this shorts mold and everything. He just has pinless joints, so I don't like it, but these boxing gloves rule ass. Next up, guys, we have a fix-up slash custom HBK from the mid-2000s. I used like a, you know, the Defining Moments head sculpt and put it on the Elite 12, made him some custom boots, and kind of made like an 03 era Shawn Michaels. We have a Tamina. That's all I gotta say about that. We have the Ghostbusters Elite Undertaker Walmart exclusive. Love this figure. I think this is a really creative take on it. You know, it's kind of wacky, but I like it. It was really cool and outside of the box, to be honest with you. We have an Elite 77 Viscera figure. Very beautiful to see. Very underrated. The only thing is, is you can't, I mean, he can't do anything, man. With this large trench coat, that's probably why nobody likes it, is because it literally can't move, and that is why he came in at the bottom of my ranking. I like the sculpt, and I like the way his legs move. He just can't move a whole ton, and that really hurt the figure, but it is nicely in detail. Now, you gotta have a viscera in the collection. We have the Elite 78 Randy Orton, I think, in the red gear. Have the another custom hoodie to throw on there. Really love the way this looks, and I did custom paint that head sculpt as well, so I, I like the way that, that looks right there. Another Randy Orton, I think it is the All-Stars version this time. Sort of a throwback. You can tell how damn old this figure is by the head sculpt, but black and white attire looks pretty solid. We have the Elite 78 Naomi figure. I think it's Elite 78. Or am I tripping ball sack? I think it's Elite 78, but it's a really nice Naomi with the ombre hair. We have another Hunter Hearst Helmsley with his cane and his entrance jacket, so it's pretty much what we saw last time, except with all of the accessories. We have an Ivar figure. Love to see it. This is a very good figure. Very underrated. He can move a lot. He's got a beautiful beard. He actually can ab crunch and stuff. This figure right here was one of the more underrated ones of the year for sure, guys. You should track this one down. Next up is Elite Series 65 Nia Jax. Do not like Nia Jax, but this is a really good rendition of her in figure form. We have an Ultimate Edition Triple H. I don't even know if he was on camera, but you guys can see it now. Really nice stuff. Not a big fan of the torsos of the Ultimate Edition, but the double jointed arms and the accessories are fan-freaking-tastic. We have an Elite 21 Rey Mysterio, and I kind of fixed it up and mixed and matched the gloves to, uh, you know, match the gear right there. I think they were both blue, but I fixed it up to make it mismatch, and it's kind of like Harley Quinn inspired a little bit there. We have a Dean Ambrose with a shirt on there for some jackass reason, but there's a shield Dean Ambrose. We have our Build-A-Figure Danny Davis with fidget spinner waist. Look at that right there. That is terrible. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Look at it. Unforgivable. Next up, guys, is a custom elite Marty Skrull, and, you know, I, this probably should not be in the regular pile, but, you know, it, it's whatever. It's kind of protected and everything. BEW did a really good job on this figure, so there's Marty Skrull. We have an Elite 30 Batista in the house, and it's got a different head sculpt on there and probably some different lower legs, but nonetheless, a nice Batista figure. Yet again, another Shield Seth Rollins with the longer hair. Again, don't know if it's the TNF or the regular Elite. Entrance Grace slash Elite 75 Jeff Hardy fix up. You have the Elite 75 with a Survivor Series right arm and then the entrance greats head sculpt. Again, mix and matching Jeff Hardy figures is super fun, man. You can make some really cool creative customs and fix-ups. Fix-up custom all black attire Seth Rollins. Just kind of I mean, it kind of looks like what he wore to SummerSlam in 2019, I think, and that like all black gear is kind of what it reminds me of right there. We have an Elite 74 fix-up for Finn Balor with some X-Pac or, or six legs right here. Lower legs and stuff with black wrist tape. Really like that. A lot of people enjoyed that fix-up because you don't have to, you know, worry about paint chip or anything. We have an early custom elite Cedric Alexander way before we got the official one. I really love Cedric Alexander, so I got a custom made way beforehand. We have Elite 12 Justin Gabriel in the house. That's a real throwback for you. Love to see it. We have the Elite 36 Stardust figure. Don't know what happened to this guy, but, you know, hopefully he's doing well out there for himself, but I really like this figure. It's on ball joint. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with this figure. We have, oh my god, another Trash Corbin. It's the newest edition. We 
We have the Elite 83 Trash Corbin, but it is with his older head sculpt with the long hair. But if you were to mix, I guess, the TGIF Friday Trash Corbin with, you know, the older Trash Corbin, this is what you would get. We have another Rock figure, guys. It is the, is this the Defining Moments with the purple, or is this the Legends figure? I can't remember, but you love to see it. It's got that wacky head, and the legs are really weird on this guy. Like, they don't move very well. You guys can see, like, his legs always, like, slanted forward like that. I really don't like it, but I do love that gear. We have the Ghostbuster Shawn Michaels with the DX arm bands. Love this face. I really want to, like, take this head sculpt, change it out for defining moments, and then, like, paint these pants up in, like, a custom cream attire or something. I don't know. I, I have some big plans for this figure. Just haven't done it just yet. We have the Network Spotlight Raw Women's Champion Oscar right here. One of the better figures there in the network spotlight. We have an Elite 58 Sheamus with a different head swap. I'm sure we're going to get, I think we're getting an updated Sheamus in Elite 84 if I'm not mistaken, but this figure has always been pretty damn good, Brad. Not going to lie to you. We have the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Ric Flair with the nice jacket, or not jacket, but robe. Really like this figure. Great classic Ric Flair. Really underrated head sculpt as well on that guy. We have an Elite Fandango. I cannot remember what series, but I did torso swap it and arm swap it to make it more accurate. He doesn't have the massive just jacked ass torso, so that's good to see. We have a two pack Hardy Boys FYE exclusive, but I did switch out the head with the longer haired sculpt, so that's a cool little Matt Hardy fix up. Next up is the Retro Fest Honky Tonk Man with the nice bodysuit. We have the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Booker T figure in the gold. I think it's the Hall of Fame figure. I could be. I think it is. Uh, don't, don't second guess it, Brad. We have my fix up Top Talent Spin Balor. Now, this is one I really love. It's the Top Talent Spin Balor body, but then we put the Elite 74 head sculpt and then the Elite 74 lower legs and kick pads. Really beautiful attire. I know a lot of people took that fix up and used it and I, I made the, this one made me proud right here, Brad. Elite 67 Chase variant Jeff Hardy with the blue basic head sculpt. I think this was a basic figure and I just kind of convert it into Elite because we got the basic that, you know, matched the Elite there. We have a creator wrestler guy using a red rooster, or not a red rooster, but a Tatanka head sculpt. Just kind of a weird thing I threw together. Don't, don't judge the guy, man. We have a Elite 67 Ricochet, or is it Elite 69? I think it's Elite 69 Ricochet, but we did put on some shorter legs or something to make it more accurate, and added the open knee pads. Elite 70 Chase variant Dolph Ziggler. Love this head sculpt. He does have the, the bandage on the head from Hell's Gate, because he, he was a bloody freaking mess, but we got the custom hoodie on there as well. We also have another ringside exclusive two-pack Matt Hardy head sculpt. Head sculpt. I, it's a full figure, Brad. Come on. We have the Elite 24 Rey Mysterio in the Days of the Dead attire with the black sleeves. Really underrated figure. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this one, but this one right here, man, if you get a chance to own it, definitely add it to the collection. This one I really love, man. We have my Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. So we took the, the Fiend figure, and then we created this Ultimate Edition out of that. So it's got the double joint arms on there. It does have, you know, the pant legs. We pretty much merged an Elite 54 Bray with the Ultimate Fiend figure, and that was the result right there. Elite 46 Beast in the East Finn Balor. A lot of people love this figure. I would love it if it had a ripped up torso. It's not one of my favorites simply for that reason, but there is the Shield 3-pack Seth Rollins fix up with the newer uh, not torso, but head sculpt on there. We got a Big Show figure, our first Big Show Elite if I'm not mistaken with the pissed off head sculpt. Big Show figures, especially that Network Spotlight or that Fan Central one, are super underrated. Look at this right here, Brad. Three Stone Cold Steve Austin. So you have a Hall of Fame fix up with a T shirt. You have the Defining Moments, I think, or the All-Star Stone Cold, and then you have the Ringside Exclusive with the Bionic Redneck in the red gear. So I love to see that. So three. We knocked out three Stone Cold Steve Austins in one. You, you love to see that. Next up is Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Hart. One of the only Brett the Hitman Hart in my entire collection, but this one's a pretty good one. I like the posability of that one. We have a Ringside Exclusive Shane McMahon in the King of the Ring gear. Wasn't very big on this head sculpt when it released, but I guess it's, I guess it's not that freaking bad man. I like the red jersey a lot. Yet again, another Cedric Alexander. What is it? Elite 67 Cedric Alexander. I think those go for a decent amount of money now, and I have like five of them because I wanted to make fix-ups, but nonetheless, we have a Slammy Award-winning Seth Rollins in the all-black gear with the crutch and the, you know, the hair and the Slammy Award and everything from where he, you know, he got injured and then he still won the Slammy for, what, Superstar of the Year or something like that. We have a fix-up Attitude Era Stone Cold Steve Austin. So this is actually a Triple H figure base from the neck down, but then I just put 
him the Jack's head sculpt to give him, you know, the screaming head and it fits perfectly. What's up with the damn lighting, Brad? Don't be an a-hole. That's better. We have a WrestleMania Elite China. Really love this head sculpt. Love the figure. Like, the legs are nice. The boots are nice. Really, really good figure. We have an Elite 47 Kevin Owens. Just like Elite 43, man, everybody loved it until they didn't. We have Santa Seth Claus, or Seth Santa Claus right here. And, you know, it's like the Christmas gear. We usually give him a Christmas hat and everything. This year, we didn't really use him, I don't think. We didn't really use him in a, in a Christmas way, or at the end of 2020, we didn't. But you hate to see that for old Santa Seth Claus. Next up is the figure of the year for me, ladies and gentlemen. The Elite 82 Finn Balor, the NXT Finn Balor. I did put the Elite 74 jacket on there and the NXT Championship. But I love this figure, the head sculpt is out of this world. I just love the shooter hands and everything about it, man. This figure was just incredible. But I'm also a huge Finn Balor fan, so I'm probably biased. Next up, guys, is the Chase Variant Elite 64 Kurt Football Hawkins in the black and uh, orange gear. We have another Epic Moments Kyle O'Reilly, but this time he doesn't have the Undisputed Era armband, t-shirt, or none of that. We have the WrestleMania Rey Mysterio in the Avatar gear. I think that's what that was inspired by, but he doesn't have any hands, so I hate to see that. Another Elite 64, but it is is the Elite 64 Jimmy Uso this time, so we got it right this time with the jacket and everything on there. Another Elite 42 Triple H. I have about 76 of these for future customs that I haven't done yet. Just, you know, just priorities, man, priorities. Elite 83 Dusty Rhodes. You love to see that. Pretty decent figure. I think it came in at the bottom of my ranking because of the legs, man. It's just such a, like, listen to that. Uh-uh. Don't like it. Love Dusty. Don't like, the, don't like the rendition there. You gotta be able to move. Elite 56 Samoa Joe with the green, so we've knocked out what? the blue, the yellow, and now the green. We have my Elite 7 DX Triple H fix up with the custom t-shirt. Love that t-shirt. Owned that as a kid. I think I was, what, 10 years old or something like that. We have the WrestleMania 35. No, no. This is the actually Elite 79 Collector's Edition Undertaker. At first, I, I couldn't tell because I have this same cloth jacket on my, on my WrestleMania 35 and another Undertaker. So, that was a really good figure this year. I really enjoyed that one. Now, we've knocked out all the colors, right? Unless we're missing one, but this is the WrestleMania 35 a two pack with Samoa Joe uh, with Rey Mysterio from Mania. Like the head sculpt, he just has like a crimson chin thing going on. Elite 82 Rob Gronkowski, probably the most worthless figure in this entire thing. Actually, the second worst figure. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll point it out when we get to the worst figure, but you guys can probably already call that out. But the only thing I like about this figure is the different, you know, it's different. And then I love the jacket with the, you know, the MDT colors and stuff like that. We have Elite Blue Tista in the house. Love to see it. I think it's Elite 33, if I'm not mistaken, but we're going to see quite a bit of this figure as well in the countdown. We have our ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels, but we did replace the head sculpt with the WrestleMania 30 figure, and I did paint the, uh, the headbands or the hair bands, ponytail bands in green to match the rest of the DX gear. Really like that fix up or slash custom right there. We have our flashback exclusive Walmart WrestleMania 10 Shawn Michaels. Hate the new arm articulation, but I still like the attire and everything like that. We have our Attitude Era Chris Jericho debut with the uh, entrance greats clothes on there. So it's a, I think it's the Attitude Era exclusive figure, but we just put the cloth, uh, you know, the cloth accessories from the entrance greats. Custom Hall of Fame fix up Stone Cold from the early 2000s with Austin 316, the chain, the white braces, and the uh, the blue shorts. Another Elite Randy Orton. I think it's Elite 67. Ah, uh, was it WrestleMania 35 Triple H? Was that the wave that this came in? I can't remember, but I think this figure has a loose waist, unfortunately. Actually, it's not that bad. Usually, Triple H's have loose waist, so you gotta love when they don't. We have another Dean Ambrose. This is the Elite 48. Really like this head sculpt when it released, and I love this jean color. Like, that light jean color is really, really nice. Kofi Kingston with the America attire and the white Adidas wing shoes. Hall of Fame Target Exclusive Ultimate Warrior with the blue WWF Championship, or that's what it came with. It obviously doesn't hold it right now. Elite James Ellsworth. How worthless. This figure is just, I, I just don't like this figure, man. I, I was not a fan of James, not a fan of the figure, not a fan of nothing. Flashback Walmart Exclusive Fix Up Shawn Michaels with the basic 100 head on there like to see it. We have one of my favorite figures of the year, guys. We have the Mr. T figure, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, except I did put the Champa camo pants on there, so he has like a full camo gear look going on. We have another Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive NXT TakeOver Dallas Finn Balor Demon. Another Jeff Hardy fix-up. It is the Survivor Series Elite with the Entrance Greats head sculpt on there. Underrated fix-up for Jeff Hardy. Hall of Fame 4-pack Target exclusive Big John Stud coming in there. Like this one. I feel like this one's pretty underrated, too. I like the way this 
figure moves around. We have another Mark Henry figure, but this is the Elite Five, I think. I can't remember, but Mark Henry's figures, I, it's stupid, man, because I love Mark Henry, but his figures are a bish to pose around, but damn, I like Mark Henry a lot. We have a custom, I can, it's not T-Bar, is it? It's either T-Bar or the other idiot. I, I don't know, man. It, freaking Retribution was a wreck. This is just like a makeshift Retribution. If I could see the other guy in the, I don't see him laying around as I'm glancing around here, but just, just awfulness. Is it Mace? It's either Mace or T-Bar. Who cares? Next up, we have the Giant Machine or Andre the Giant Elite. Really underrated figure. I love the big hands on this guy, so you love to see that. We need more Andre Elites, man. Don't get enough of them. We have a Daniel Bryan Elite fix-up. I think it's Elite 38 with some different kick pads and head sculpt. Just kind of a thrown-together effort right there. Decade of Domination, Randy Orton. Love this figure. Super underrated. Not a lot of people have this on the radar, but I love this. It's his debut attire, and I've always wanted a figure like this. So when Mattel released this, I, I had to have it. I remember his debut like it was nothing. Now he's one of my favorites of all time. Probably second favorite all-time wrestler right there. We have Goldust in the house. Elite 36 or Elite 5? I fi No, it's not Elite 5, I don't think. It may be Elite 36, but there's a Gold Dust figure. We have Hall of Champions Target exclusive DIY Tommaso Ciampa before he got the ripped up torso with his Elite 69 figure. This is his first Elite we ever got. Another Elite 47 Rock figure. Gonna see quite a bit of these for future customs and stuff of that nature. Just so many customs, so little time, if you get what I'm saying there. We have another Braun Strowman Elite. This one is gonna be... I, who, I think it's, it's either the top talents of the Elite 52. It's got the goofy looking smile, the black singlet, and the, you know, green and camo or Timberland style boots. We have another Jimmy Uso, or it may be Jay. I can't ever re remember. I know the Elite 54 and I know the Elite 64, but these, I think Jay has the cross, so maybe this is Jimmy. We have the Defining Moment Stone Cold Steve Austin 316 t-shirt with the jeans and everything before we got the Amazon exclusive or the Attitude Era Elite. Epic Moments Undisputed Era 3-pack Bobby Fish this time with his armband and his t-shirt. Shirt. Elite 76 Lacey Evans, one of the, I think one of the earlier, pretty good elite women's figure if you ask me. And I do not like Lacey Evans, but that figure is pretty solid. We have an Elite 10 Kane figure. Love this head sculpt. Love Kane from, from like bald era maskless Kane is just beautiful to me, man. Just excellent stuff. We have an Elite 69 Miz in the red and gold of the Iron Man gear from WrestleMania 34, I think it was. Another Chase variant, Jeff Hardy from Elite Series 67, but instead of the blue face paint, he does have the just normal face paint, so you know, just an unpainted chase variant look. We have the Elite 55 Big Evil Undertaker with the bandana. Love this figure. Pretty good stuff. I just hate how skinny they make him and Kane, man. I really wish they could make him bigger or something, but you know, it is what it is, man. Too late now to fix it, really, unless you do completely custom formula. You got Grand Metz Elite from Elite 73 in the house in the blue and gold, but I did switch out the legs to make this weird singlet looking thing. Kind of looks like Santino or something. Elite 47 fix up AJ Styles with the Elite 56 kick pads. Uh, the Survivor Series, not the Survivor, yeah, the Survivor Series jacket and then the blue knee pads. Just sort of a thrown together Frankenstein fix up. We have the Bloodline Roman Reigns from the Pick Fed. So he's dressed up like the Usos. Really love this custom. Just a, you know, a Pick Fed related custom. Those are always my favorite. We have the other half of the APA. We finally have Elite 38 Farouk in the house. Damn. Other half of the Dudley showing up finally. We have Elite 45 Devon Dudley. Again, we were supposed to have two sets of the Dudleys, but we never got around to the second set, so we only have one set of Dudleys. I know we did get that battle pack, but that was all we got outside of the Elites. We also have this Elite Roderick Strong, Elite 72 Roderick Strong with the updated torso. I wanted mine to be ripped up, so there is that. Love Roderick Strong. We have the Elite Brock Lesnar, or is this the, the, the Ultimate Edition? Yeah, this is the Ultimate Edition. One of my favorite figures of the year is the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. I don't know why I couldn't just look at it and tell my mind's just you know i've looked at a lot of figures so far man and we're we put a dent in it but i feel like i've been here forever already and uh yeah ultimate edition brock lesnar one of my favorite figures mattel's ever made probably another elite roman reigns it is the elite 45 with the silver we got another mark henry figure but it's the decade of domination in the decade with the decade of domination nation of domination one of my favorite punk elites it is the all-stars punk in the yellow and black with the long hair and the chest hair just a beautiful specimen of a figure right there we have the rock con Concert Rock Elite figure where he shitted on Vicky Guerrero. We have the Elite 82 John Morrison, so the updated John Morrison Elite with 
the coat on there. You could use this coat for an edge or something, but I really like to pose that figure around. We have the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy. The second time we've seen it, I think, and it does have a, you know, FYE two-pack Hardy Boy head sculpt on there. We have an Elite 23 Undertaker, I think. I think it's the Elite 23. It may be the, the Lost Legends, but I think, no, my Lost Legends had like a, you know, a fidget spinner way, so there's that. Elite Alberto Del Rio, I think the only one that I own. I think I sold the rest of mine. He kind of looks like that Cake Boss guy in that head sculpt. We have my custom Santa Claus on a Jim the Anvil Nightheart body. We have another Dean Ambrose, Elite 41 Dean Ambrose, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's Elite 41. I remember buying that from Toys R Us across from my college a few years ago. We have Elite 42 Triple H for the 150th time. We have my suited body, Seth Rollins, so the second suited body, but I did put the ponytail head sculpt on there and painted it all black, so, you know, you'd have sort of a sophisticated Seth Rollins in suit. We have the Elite 56 Luke Gallows figure in the entrance grates, not entrance grates, but the entrance coat, you stupid idiot. We are moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Another Adam Cole Elite. I think this is the Elite 71, but it has the Epic Moments head sculpt on it to give him sort of a newer attire than that. So, yeah, so that's one of the better, you know, first release head sculpts. They usually don't miss, but they, uh, they, they've they nailed Adam Cole thus far. We have the TNF Seth Rollins with the fix-up head sculpt on there, and I did put the newer arm or the better arm articulation on there, not the, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, like the bendless elbow or whatever the hell they, they changed it to. Another Kofi Kingston in the best attire they've probably made for New Day so far, Elite 78 Kofi with the winged feet instead of the gold or whatever the hell he ended up having. We have the Lost Legends Chris Jericho. I think this is the Lost Legends Chris Jericho. I can't know. Or maybe it's the Elite 53 Chris Jericho in the yellow, purple, red, gray attire. We have another Roman Reigns, guys. It's kind of a just a thrown together effort, it seems. It's the Elite 51 vest with the black and red gauntlets. We have the Target exclusive, not Target exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive network spotlight gold vest Roman Reigns. Elite 70 Johnny Gargano with all the fix ups. I, I added everything to this figure, so he's got the emoji there. He's got the better kick pads, longer kick pads, and everything. Really, really good good figure once you add all the, you know, the fix-ups and the updates to it. Legend Series 8 Eddie Guerrero, one of the better figures of the year. I'm your poppy t-shirt, and it does have the old Legends boots on there. Another Blue Tista, Batista Elite from Elite 33, I do believe. I think this is my Lost Legends Undertaker, maybe. Oh, no, no, it's not. Or unless I super glued that waist to fix it, and now it's stuck there. I'd rather it be stuck there than be freaking spinning like a loose cannon, so we'll take that, and there's his hat. Rhymed. Unintentional. We have another Seth Rollins Elite Fantasy Attire in the SummerSlam gear with the Elite 45 Rollins arms. He also has the Buddy Murphy kick pads. Just again, another thrown together deal there, but it works out. I love that Elite 37 head sculpt. I feel like a lot of people sleep on that head sculpt. Now we're finally getting to it, Brad. We have the Elite 68 Brie Bella finally. I called Nikki Bella Brie, and there's Brie finally. But the second member of our New Day Bootio 3-pack from Toys R Us, there is Big E with the fix-up boots. Elite 82 Alexa Bliss. I think it's Elite 82 Alexa of Bliss. Really good Alexa Bliss. Still not better than the Elite 53 with the head swap, but it's still a really good figure. Need to do an arm swap and do some different stuff on there so you can change the arms, but she does have double jointed arms, and we probably need to do like a really crazy Alexa Bliss like Frankenstein effort to make like the ultimate Alexa Bliss Elite, but there is a KO with a custom cloth t-shirt for the Elite 43 on there. White prize fighter attire. Next up is an Elite 1 Edge with the head missing. Pretty old figure, but the head sculpt was kind of garb, so you know, we got rid of it. Target exclusive Hall of Champions Batista. Really underrated figure, man. I love this Batista figure. Great moment as well, and that's always appreciated with the figures. We have a Drake Maverick Elite figure that has Rey Mysterio legs and Kalisto boots. So that's just a little random assortment of small guy parts. We have an Elite 9 Miz, I think, or Elite 3 Miz. No, it's not Elite 3 Miz, obviously. I think it's Elite 9 Miz. It could be, yeah, I think it's Elite, I don't know. Who care? Elite 12. Who gives a damn? Elite 70 Big Show. How about that? Next up, Elite 42 Neville with the Elite 55 head sculpt. I think that's what it is. Pretty sweet fix up right there. We have another one of our fantasy attire, Seth Rollins, uh, Elite 45 with some black kick pads and the Elite 45, not Elite 45, the cash in knee pads, black wrist tape, just sort of a little fantasy attire right there. We have two Ghostbusters figures, guys. We have the Rock figure and we have the Stone Cold Steve Austin figure in their Ghostbusters body suits with the t-shirts. Uh, pretty weird releases, but you know, I didn't question it, Brad. I, 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 don't, I don't make the rules. I just deal with them, you know? Sometimes I break them. But we got a Hurricane fix up there with the long kick pads, Elite 75 hurricane 
We have Elite Series 69 Mustafa Ali, our second one of those. We have Elite 6 Batista, I think, with the kick pad feet. It was, I think a fan sent me this or something. We have the Decade of Domination Triple H from the 2003 attire from the Elimination Chamber. Really love this figure. I don't think it's hit stores just yet, so that's kind of a rare one. We have sort of a Brock Lesnar fix-up custom where it's like his updated tattoo torso on his old wrestling gear. If he were to go back to his old wrestling gear, we have yet again another Elite Aiden English. We have a Elite set, not Elite 7, the DX Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels, but with the two-pack uh, 2K15, I think, Shawn Michaels' basic lower arms on this figure with the custom t-shirt. I also have a backwards hat somewhere for that. We have the Elite 11 Rey Mysterio or Elite 9. I can't remember, the, but I, I made it into like an all black gear. Still haven't finished that. We have Elite 8 Undertaker. Sort of an underrated Undertaker to be honest with you. We have another Kurt Angle figure and it's the Elite 59 with the boot fix up from BEW and some knee pads added to it. Sort of a quick little Kurt Angle fix up. We have another Goldberg. I think this is the Elite 74 with a head swap, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I think this is a head swapped Elite 74 Goldberg. We have the USA Attire Big E with the blue boots on there. I love this fix up because it ties into the little ice cream faces. I think we use the the new Elite 80, uh, I don't know, at least, uh, I guess, Elite. <laughs> How about that? Next up, we have another Rock Elite, and this is probably my least favorite Rock, because it's like the updated Rock, but he has the smaller torso. Hate it. Freaking god-awful. Next up, guys, we have another Jeff Hardy. It's Elite 67 with the digital camo blue. You guys have already seen this in this video. We have another Jeff Hardy. It is the Survivor. Now, this one's really clean. It's the basic Jeff Hardy head sculpt with the, you know, the non-face paint on the Survivor Series body is super sexy, mexy, man. Look at that right there. That is clean AF. An underrated figure up next, guys. We have the ringside exclusive Brian Kendrick, really, really underrated guy right here. Everybody should have that in their collection. And another one is this Elite 2 Triple H with this basic head sculpt. I love this basic Triple H head sculpt. On the Elite 2 body, it is a super great Triple H figure. I love that one right there. We have Elite Montez Ford from the Street Profits, even though I hate that it has no or lower leg, you know, rotation or anything, but there's Montez Ford. We have the Elite 47 Kane, I think. No, Elite 63 Kane. I think it's Elite 63 came, but we did do a head swap on it, so we don't have the, you know, the removable mask head sculpt. We have a early Roman Reigns Elite. I think this is the first Roman Reigns Elite, Elite 26 possibly. It may be, I think it, it may be Elite 32. I, I don't remember. Somebody can let me know down in the comment section below. We have Elite Shayna Baszler. Don't like the talent, but the figure's pretty decent. We got a Elite Tommaso Ciampa in his custom shirt. Shout out to my boy Rodney for the t-shirt on that Elite 69 Ciampa. We have a Jason Jordan Elite. This is the Elite 59 or Elite 60. I can't remember. I can never get 59 and 60 always kind of rubbed together in my head. We have Elite 2 Batista. Very, very great figure. Even though the head sculpt's not the greatest, it's not terrible. We have another Elite 71 Adam Cole Bebe with the, with the signature hands and the non-fixed up legs. So he does have the stumpy leg look, which I don't really like. But you know, what are you going to do? We have a couple Roman Reigns right here. We have the Elite 62 Roman Reigns slash top talents. And then we have the Elite 50 56 with a head swap and I like the original Elite 56. I think it's probably my favorite Roman but two Roman Reigns figures right there nonetheless. Next up guys we have another Triple H. It's the suited body Triple H but I put the bearded head sculpt on it to give him a more accurate you know current day look. We have the most recent Elite Sasha Banks with the Elite 83 the Smackdown Women's Champion Sasha Banks. We have the new Wrestlemania Shawn Michaels with the nice jacket on there and everything like that. My legs are kind of loosey goosey but I like the attire and everything. Again should be hitting retail relatively soon. We have the Monday Night Rollins attire with the Elite 37 entrance jacket or vest on there which looks pretty clean. Another Elite Ryback. I don't even know if we've seen an Elite Ryback. But nonetheless, there is an Elite Ryback right there. Next up, we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan as well as Mean Gene Okerlund right there. He kind of splash dived in there and hit his face on the table, but we have Jim Duggan and we also have Mean Gene in the red suit which we love to see. We have my like promo slash workout gear Finn Balor in the training shorts and shoes with the custom t-shirt. We have another top talent, Seth Rollins, right here in the X-Men gear without the X on the chest. Very unfortunate. Copyright reasons and things of that nature. I just found two Elite Aleister Black. So you have the basic, like, stock Elite 73 Aleister Black here, and then we have the NXT Aleister Black on the left right there, which looks pretty good. I think this is the one I use on Vindication, and of course, this is the new Elite 73, and we're about to get a new one in this next Elite Wave, I'm pretty sure, or I think it's Elite 85. Next up is a custom Elite Sand 
Sandman, which is always beautiful to see. You love to see Sandman. Need to bring him back to the Fed. He's been out for a little minute. We finally complete the trifecta, I do believe, guys, with Xavier Woods from the Bootios Toys R Us 3-pack. Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin, but it is fixed up. I put one Seth Rollins cash-in knee pad and one Elite 45 knee pad to kind of tie into that black and white and gold kind of theme that they got going on right there. We have one of my favorite figures ever, the Elite 27 RVD, even though not the greatest attire, not terrible, but I love this basic head sculpt I threw on there, put on shorter knee pads, and I love that figure right there. We have yet again another Dean Ambrose and Shield body, but it is headless this time. I don't think the last one was headless. We have the Elite 60, no, Elite 73 Daniel Bryan, or Elite 72. I think it's Elite 73 Daniel Bryan with the great head sculpt and the, you know, the heel gear with the uh, red and black. Next up, guys, we do have Tyler Breeze in the fashion Popo. Really great figure. Super underrated. I think all of Tyler Breeze figures are underrated. We have the uh, undercover, not undercover, but Undertaker as Kane ringside exclusive figure, but I went ahead and put the Kane mask on there and just treating it as a dual-sleeved Kane. That's, that's how I represent it. Haven't gotten another one to put on the Undertaker shelf, but there is that. We have the Legend Series 8 Paul Orndorff still waiting to turn this into a Chris Masters one day. That will for sure happen. Next up is Elite Series 63 Shelton Benjamin, but it's the Chase variant in the gold standard version. Did swap out the knee pads for shorter knee pads. We have another AJ Styles. It is just this Top Talents fix-up with the screaming head sculpt on it with no hand. So that's, that's always lovely to see. We have another Rusev right here. I don't even, this may be our first Rusev, but this head sculpt was made for me by BEW way back in the day. And uh, I kind of mix and match some parts to give him that boot look and everything. I, I still really like this fix up for Rusev, even though half the beard fell off one day. We have another Goldberg. So we're getting into the Goldbergs here. Uh, this may be the WrestleMania figure. Actually, uh, yes, this is the WrestleMania. So the first one we saw was the main event ring one. This is the uh, WrestleMania one, the most recent one that came with the Blue Universal Championship. We have another Elite 52 Rollins, but this one is just the stock one. I think this is just your base Elite 52 Seth Rollins with no additives or anything like that. No sugar, no fat, 98% less protein this time. We have a Samoa Joe Elite 43 figure, probably his worst Elite, and it was his first one, so you know, it's probably expected. We have another Top Talents figure, but this is Top Talents Ricochet in the gray gear. Really like this gear. I like collecting Ricochet figures, so I'm, I'm digging this one pretty much. Next up, guys, we have another Shinsuke, and it is the WrestleMania 34 attire with the gold armbands. I think they made his Ultimate Edition out of this attire. I remember making this the night of WrestleMania 34, and here we are seven years later. It's not seven years later. Maybe you're watching the seven years from, from recording, which is going to be outrageous. But RetroFest Gamer uh, Shawn Michaels in the Rockers gear. Really like that figure. We got an Elite 75 figure. Just the base Elite 75 Jeff Hardy. Nothing added or anything like that. Another Ultimate Warrior. It is the Elite 26, I think. I think this figure kind of rotted on shelves everywhere. So that's unfortunate to see. But it was the case back then, Brad. We got Big Cass in the house. So Big Cass with his big ass showing up in the red gear. I like that figure, actually. Pretty good posability on that one. We finally found our first ringside exclusive two-pack Hardy Boys brew, Jeff Hardy instead of Matt Hardy. So you love to see that t-shirt on there. Really like the head sculpt in the attire. We have this weird road dog like John Cena hybrid thing that a fan sent me, but I always keep those the way they are unless I need one of the parts, so I, I like that a lot. Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura. I love this jacket. I think the cloth jacket is magnificent, and I've used this figure quite a ton, so that's always great to see. We have Elite 74 AJ Styles in the neon or the Volt attire, and I, I actually like this. I think this is one of his better figures. I like the, you know, the the way the attire kind of pops off. We have the Fix Up Extreme Rules, or not Extreme Rules, the Fix Up Entrance Greats Finn Balor with the red and black kick pads. Kind of reminds me of like an NXT Demon Finn Balor, but this is from the two-pack with Finn Balor and AJ Styles with the two sweet hands. We have this like creator wrestler GM guy where it's like a Superman figure's head on the Elite 70 Vince McMahon body, and I love the way this looks. It's like, I don't know, I just love the way the, the suited body with that head sculpt just looks so clean to me. I, I, one of the most underrated figures in my, in my collection. I need to make an underrated figures collection. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on. RIP again to Brody Lee slash Luke Harper, another one of the Bludgeon Brothers figures. We have JTG, and I don't see Shad right now, but when we spoke of Brody Lee, it kind of reminded me of Shad. RIP to both of those gentlemen. They were absolute ballers, and uh, both 
both legends, absolutely. But here's JTG, really underrated figure. Even though his legs are kind of stiffy liffy, uh, I love JTG and I love Prime Time. So there is that. We have another Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite fix up with the screaming head sculpt from Jax. Really love the way this figure looks. We have another lime green and black Rey Mysterio right there. I don't think these are the gloves that came on this, but nonetheless, there's another Rey Mysterio. Yet again, another Jason Jordan, but I think this is our first time seeing the TNF Jason Jordan. This was the first one they ever released. We have the Elite 72 Batista, one of my favorite Batistas they've ever done. I, I love this gear. We switched out the lower legs with his, uh, what was it, the Elite 30 to give him the full tattoo so he doesn't have any leg sleeves or nothing. It's just all of his tattoos showing. I really like that. We have a fix-up custom Cien Almas or Andrade Cien Almas with the NXT basic head and then a Sin Cara body. Pretty basic stuff going on right there. We have another Rock Concert Rock, except he doesn't have any pants on this time. He shitted on Eddie Guerrero. He shitted on Vicky Guerrero. Never forget that. Not Eddie Guerrero, you dumb idiot. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is another Braun Strowman, and it is the Goofy Smile one, so either Top Talents or Elite 52 one right there. We have another Network Spotlight fix-up AJ Styles, this time with Rey Mysterio gloves, blue armbands, blue uh, wristbands, and then the Elite 56 kick pads. I really like this attire. Really underrated fix-up in the collection right there. We have another Roddy Strong, Elite 72, with the t-shirt on this time, so that looks pretty good. I love Roddy Strong, so I'm always happy to add him back into the collection. The other half of the Viking Raiders, we have Eric instead of Ivar. We took a look at Ivar earlier. I did switch out the kick pads to give him accurate ones. Really good head sculpts and tattoos on those guys. Next up is a very underrated figure, Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. But instead of being regular Elite 57, I added his new tattoo the, to the back right there. And I want to get a zoom-in shot of this because this was some pretty decent little football work right there. So, yeah, I added the little demon. You can see his little cross right there. Pretty decent work right there. A lot of paint going into that right there. But Elite 57, Jeff Hardy. Next up is Seth Rollins again. And we have the TNF Seth Rollins. And I like this a lot. It's got the, you know, the smirking head sculpt instead of the current one. Another Seth Rollins. But this one is the fantasy attire in the, you know, the X-Men attire. But it has the yellow kick pads, the gold SR there, and then the Tyson Kid arms on there. Really underrated figure right there. I need him to rock that on MDT. I think that'd be pretty fire. Another AJ Styles, Elite 56 with Elite 47 kick pads. We'll probably see that fixed up like two or three times in this video. Another Ultimate Edition coming forth. We have Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair. Everyone loves this head sculpt, and I think I have to agree, man. This is a really good women's figure, but I still like the uh, Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey a little bit more, to be honest with you. Elite 65 Eric Young. Sad he, you know, he left the company and sanity was so garbage, but this figure is still really, really good. Another Elite 75 Jeff Hardy makes his way into the collection video. Stock, nothing fixed up about it. We have the NXT Killian Dane figure, which is really underrated. You can really pose this guy around pretty good, except for the large knee pads, but it's still a really fun figure to pose around if you get the chance. We have the SDCC Slim Jim Macho Man with jacket. I didn't put his, you know, Slim Jim accessories in here because I didn't want to, you know, like lose them in the pile, but there is the Slim Jim Macho Man Randy Savage. A fix-up Elite 64 Seth Rollins with the current head sculpt and then the Elite 60, no, the SummerSlam arms on there because he did rock the black and red armbands with the Flames gear sometimes, so I went ahead and made that fix-up. Elite 58 Matt Hardy with the green pants. Like this figure a lot. We got another Network Spotlight. It is the Network Spotlight Target exclusive Kurt Angle figure. Saw this once. Went ahead and grabbed... No, wait, wait, wait. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe my boy Rob sent me this. I think my boy Rob sent me that. Shout out to Rob if that's the case. We have the ringside exclusive Edge in the, you know, the rated R Edge with the red and black. Love this figure. Would love to switch out the torso, but I like this head sculpt. Best Edge head sculpt they've ever made until probably recently with his Elite 83. We have the first of many Top Talents Finn Balor figures. I always buy these up to make customs, but it's the WrestleMania 34 rainbow gear. We got a Sonya Deville basic. I don't have her elite. Never saw it. Never seen that. Didn't have a chance to get it, so I do have her basic. We have another women's figure. It's the Decade of Domination Natalia elite figure, which is kind of eh, but you know, I grabbed it to review the full set for you guys. We have the Elite 5 Jack Swagger with some Hall of Champions Batista boots on it. You love to see this. Um, I have my Jack Swagger somewhere, but I usually pop the head on and off. I made it interchangeable, so that's why this is headless. Next up, guys, we have a base entrance greats Jeff Hardy. It seems like yesterday this just released, and now here we are all these years later, and uh, I still love this figure to this day. Probably will never get old, Brad. Moving forth, we have the FYE 2-pack Jeff Hardy, but I did head swap it for a better head sculpt in my personal opinion. 
I'm going to try to reach over here to the left and get these figures. That way we can knock out this pile a little bit quicker. We have the top talent Seth Rollins, one of the most underrated Rollins figures they've ever made. Here is that DX Sean hat that we were missing, so I'm going to put this over here where I won't lose the John Brown thing. We have a Mr. Perfect Retro Fest game, not GameStop exclusive. I think it was supposed to be, but then it ended up, you know, GameStop kind of is raggedy nowadays, so there's that. We have a WrestleMania 34 Kevin Owens Elite. First time we've seen that one, I do believe. I could be wrong about that one. Toys R Us exclusive network spotlight big boss man. Underrated AF figure right there. Next up, I'm trying to get these figures from over here, man. Like, they're out of my reach and I don't like it. <laughs> Next up, guys, we have Elite 8 Undertaker, but this time he's actually wearing the, the you know, the, the gear right there. I almost said wearing the dress. I don't think he'd appreciate that. We have the Elite 40 1, 2, 3 Kid. Expected to get more, you know, Sean, Sean figures, man. We have an Elite 56 AJ Styles with the Elite 47 Kick Pads. What did I tell you, Brad? A uh, hundred times. I swear I've seen that fix up in this collection. Elite 67 Jeff Hardy yet again. We have a Nikolai Volkov figure, but it does have the Vladis you know, the Vladimir head sculpt on there, so there's that. I don't know why that is, but, you know, some things just happen randomly in the collection. We have a TNF Seth Rollins with a smiling head sculpt on there. Nothing too immaculate about that one. Attitude Era Raw is Jericho, Chris Jericho Elite. Really love this t-shirt and really love this figure. Pretty underrated one right there. I hate they got rid of that wave, to be honest with you. It was a great wave for what it was. Elite 71 Jeff Hardy, but with the non-painted head sculpt, you know, to give us a different look. We have another Elite 47 AJ Styles with the Elite 56 kick pads. I mean, dude, how many times do we have to see a variation of one of those two figures? Next up is a really, really cool fix-up. It is the Elite 71 Jeff Hardy, but instead of the head sculpt being painted or whatever, it is the Survivor Series head sculpt that has the pink in the braids or the dreadlock looks, and I love that. That is that is just dirty. I love this fix-up. When I when I made that, I was I was pretty proud of that one, Brad. Next up is another rock fix-up. We have the Ultimate Edition, one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts onto a Lay at the SmackDown kind of promo gear rock elite. That's a cool little fix-up for you. Next up is the WrestleMania Boxing 2-Pack Roddy Piper. We already saw the Mr. T way earlier, but here is the other half which is the Roddy Piper, which has a really great head sculpt on it. We have another Sami Zayn figure. It's the Elite 40 Sami Zayn with the TNF head sculpt on it. Next up is a Mankind figure. I think it's Elite 51 Mankind, if I'm not mistaken. It had like Roman Reigns and Scott Hall in that wave. Pretty, pretty decent little wave. I remember finding that at retail. We have Elite 76 Tucker to go with our Otis that we still haven't seen just yet, I don't think. But there is Tucker. We have our Triple H in t-shirt. I don't know if this was the... I think this is Elite 28 Triple H, or maybe it's the Toys R Us exclusive. It's one or the other. We have an Elite 37 fix-up Seth Rollins with the Elite 37 head sculpt, black wrist tape, and then just some top talent Finn Balor uh, kick pads and then some Neville knee pads. Pretty, pretty nice little pairing right there. Next up is another Dean Ambrose. It's the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose or Elite 53? No, it's Elite 58. Elite 58 Dean Ambrose. Really like this jeans color they got going on that one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is an Elite 57 Seth Rollins fix-up where he just beat Triple H, so he's got the knee brace, the sledgehammer, and both of his wrist gauntlets fell off during that match, so I went ahead and made the little defining moment there. We have a Jeff Hardy Chase variant with one arm missing because I guess I used it for a fix-up, but there is the original head sculpt on that one. Another AJ Styles, but it is the Elite 60, I think, and then it has the Survivor Series kick pads on it. Pretty blah, blah figure. Elite 56 Carl Anderson. I think that's our uh, second one, and I think that's the only two we have in the collection. Again, we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Mr. T, but this time it is the stock figure. No, you know, camo pants on it or anything. Really love this figure. I just can't believe we still have a Mr. T. I think that's freaking mind-boggling. We have an Entrance Greats Kurt Angle figure with the gold medals. Love to see it. When that figure first released, seems like yesterday, but I was losing my damn mind. Flashback Walmart exclusive Razor Ramon or Scott Hall in the pink pants. We got the Elite 36 X-Pac, I think is what it is. I think it's Elite 36. I, I could be wrong about that. We have another Grand Meta Elite, but this is the, uh, the Chase variant version in the black and gold. Looks pretty clean. We have a Defining Moments Ministry Undertaker, which is one of the most underrated Undertaker figures ever, and I really like it. I love just all the details on that figure. 
here. We have Chad Gable from American Alpha in the American and Gold gear. Love this figure too. Not the best one in my collection though. I'll show you guys that one later on. We have the WrestleMania 36 Kofi Kingston in the Rainbow and S gear where he won the WWE Championship at Mania. Next up guys is going to be an Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler with a Elite 39 head sculpt on it I think. I think that's the, the version that we got going right there. We have either, I, I can't remember if this is the, you know, I think this is Eric Rowan's body. I could be wrong but it's either Eric Rowan or Luke Harper. We have another Daniel Bryan that has plain black kick pads on it. Another Elite 38 fix up for Daniel Bryan. We have another Elite 57 Jeff Hardy but this time it has the SummerSlam head sculpt on it. A little face paint shirtless Jeff Hardy look right there. Next up is Elite 80 Ricochet. So here is where that Jeff Hardy sleeve went. It went onto this ricochet, and I like that look. I think that looks pretty damn clean. Next up, guys, we have another Shield Seth Rollins, but this time it has the penny belt on there. Probably my least favorite. Probably my least favorite title belt design of all time. Next up, guys, we have another Triple H. It is uh, again, the either the Elite 28 or the Toys R Us exclusive. I, I could be wrong about that, too. It may be something else. We have this, like, makeshift Dolph Ziggler attire made out of a Bret Hart. So it's a Bret Hart lower with Dolph Ziggler torso, and uh, I just filled in the Hitman with pink, and just kind of it just kind of looked like a Ziggler attire, so I threw the jacket on it. I don't know, kind of a cool little fix-up. We have an Elite 40 Tyson Kid fix-up, and not even a fix-up, right? That's just, oh, it is a fix-up. I just put black kick pads on it. Nothing too immaculate right there. Over here on the right, we got Elite 49 Undertaker. Undertaker, what are you saying, dude? Well, he did wrestle Undertaker in this gear, but this is Randy Orton, you dumb idiot. Legend killer Randy Orton. We have Elite 67 Velveteen Dream with a torso swap. Pretty good figure right there, even though Velveteen Dream. Never really been a fan of the guy anyway but you know. Next up is either uh, I think this is Elite 73 Triple H. The other one could have been like Elite 66 or, or Elite 60 something but I think this is Elite 73 Triple H. It's got the black lowers here. Really like this attire even though most of his attires are the same. We have Elite Series 63 Dusty Rhodes right there. I like this one personally better than the new Elite that we just got. We have the Cassius Ono Elite. Huge shout out to my boy Rob for this one. I never had a chance to own this figure but he sent it my way so I appreciate you man Cassius oh no we have a custom I think this was supposed to be my t-bar maybe I think I made a t-bar out of this yeah here it is this is my t-bar and then I put the mask over it like this garbage. We have an Elite R-Truth. First R-Truth of the video, I think. It may be our second. Who the hell knows? Who the hell cares? Elite 80 Bailey coming in. Best Bailey figure to date by far. We have another Randy Orton, and it's going to be Elite 35, but it does have the Elite 67 head sculpt on it, so that is absolutely beautiful. We have another Triple H. I think this is the Elite 2, but it's the stock Elite 2 head sculpt, which is god-awful. Look how early that was. Dude, this is like an 11-year-old head sculpt, and it shows, Brad. It totally shows. We have have the Elite 51 AJ Styles in the black and silver, but I fixed it up and put the Top Talents uh, kick pads on there, and I really like this attire. Whoever discovered this fix-up, is it, it's freaking beautiful. I love that. Very underrated right there. We have the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior, but he's missing his hands because I don't really give a damn. We have the Elite 47? No. Elite 53? No, Elite 58 Cesaro, but with a bunch of part swaps and stuff like that to make kind of a fix up there. It's the only Cesaro I have. I used to have a bunch, but then I ended up getting rid of a lot of them, but... Here is an Elite 66 fix-up KO where I uh, have not finished repainting the head sculpt, but there's Kevin Owens right there. We have our War Games Kyle O'Reilly, which is super beautiful in the in the camo gear. Love to see this. We're going to see a lot of the Chase variant in this video, most likely. We have the other Gold Dust. I can't remember what the other one was. I think I can't remember if this is Elite 5 or Elite 36. I think it's another one in the 20s, maybe, that I'm missing, or maybe in the teens, but there's another Elite Gold Dust. Another Elite Seth Rollins. Rollins, but this time it is Elite 75. I think this is the first time we're seeing this. It's the Chicago Bears gear. We have the Target exclusive debut Rocky Maivia in the teal and sort of like light blue color. Really like that one. We have this fix up like UFC fighter Ronda Rousey. So I put UFC gloves on it and then gave her the bare feet. So we have like a UFC slash WWE Ronda Rousey figure. NXT Target exclusive Elite Austin Aries. This is definitely a throwback right here. Seems like yesterday they just released that. And speaking of NXT figures, man. Who remembers the elite No Way Jose, man? I love No Way Jose. I thought he was brilliant in NXT, and then they brought him to the main roster, and he was a total joke, but I've always loved No Way Jose. Everybody can praise to it. When we got that figure, I was losing my damn mind. We have the Elite 37 Brock Lesnar. I think it's Elite 37. It could be wrong, but I think this is Elite 37 Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. Elite 37 Brock Lesnar, 
and uh, I love that head sculpt. The pissed off head sculpt looks really, really good on that one. We have another Jeff Hardy, and it is the Elite 57. No, it's the Ringside Exclusive. I'm sorry. Ringside Exclusive 2-pack Brood Hardy Boy Jeff Hardy, but it has the uh, entrance crates arms and then this custom little, you know, mesh shirt with the WrestleMania 17 head sculpt on there, so it makes for like a WrestleMania X7 custom Jeff Hardy fix-up Elite. Next up, guys, we have an Edge Elite. It's more of like a promo gear with a rated R t-shirt on there. Nothing too immaculate going on with that one. We have a GM 2003 Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Fear shirt, and yeah, I actually like this one a lot. Sort of a GM Stone Cold Steve Austin. We have our fix-up War Games Adam Cole in the camo gear. Since we couldn't get it officially from Mattel, I kind of made this out of a Kyle O'Reilly and just kind of threw it together with different parts, and it totally works as a placeholder until we get an official one, but next up is Stunning Steve, the other half of the Hollywood Blondes with Brian Pillman. Really underrated figure right there. We got Elite Series 69 Bobby Lashley. Elite 69 remains the best series ever, man. All those first time in the lines, all that epic talent. Custom shirt on there, and I did throw on the Hall of Champions boots, and I threw on some things right here to give him like the biker trunks instead of the really short shorts. We have a current day Sami Zayn outside of the long hair, but here's Sami Zayn with the camo pants on there from Tommaso Ciampa. Nice little fix up there. We have an Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler fix up with the Elite 39 head sculpt and then some uh, Elite 70 boots on there. Nothing too crazy with that one. I think we also switched the arms. Next up, guys, is a Viscera, but this one doesn't have the massive, you know, trench coat thing. This just has the, you know, just nothing on there. So we just cut it off and caught it a day, see what the hell it looked like, and that was our result. Really good Undertaker figure here, guys. We have the Decade of Domination Undertaker with the gray tie. We got the nice hat, nice trench coat, black gloves. This figure is beautiful, man. If you're a fan of Undertaker, you gotta track down the Decade of Domination Undertaker right there. Apollo Crews fix up with the white knee pads and white boots. Really love the way this looks. I cannot freaking like, this is just really good. Shout out to Ballot Fix UK for that one. We have an Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. Really, really good figure. It came in in the top figures of 2019. This one's really good. You can't beat it, man. Rey Mysterio figures are super fun to pose around, and that one is no different, I promise. Next up, guys, we have the Chase variant version of Kyle O'Reilly in the black gear. So, not the camo gear, but the black gear right there for Kyle O'Reilly. We have a Chris Jericho. I think this is the Lost Legends version. So, there's the purple and teal right there. We have our second USA gear for Big E, but this time it's the stock version with the yellow boots. We have an Elite 53 Miz. Was never a fan of this head sculpt, but you know, it is what it is. I like the Navy gear for Miz. We have another Apollo Crews, but it is in the stock version, so it's just black knee pads, black boots. I like the white knee pads and white boots better, to be honest with you. We have the King of the Ring Shane McMahon again, but I did use a different head sculpt and painted it in black to give him a better look. Here's that second Second Ryback Elite that I was talking about, but it is in the red gear, red, black, silver. Looks pretty decent. We have a headless Zack Ryder, and the head's somewhere in there. I put some paper in there. I did change the boots as well, but I put some paper in the head sculpt, and it falls off time to time. Another two-pack Hardy Boy Matt Hardy. Speaking of Matt Hardy, we have the WrestleMania Matt Hardy, which I love. This figure's freaking phenomenal. He won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal in that gear. What was that WrestleMania 34 or 35? I can't remember, Brad. Next up is Elias with the uh, Razor Ramon or Scott Hall t-shirt on there, the entrance greats. Another Matt Hardy, V1 Matt Hardy. This is not the head sculpt that came on it, but I put that on there to give him sort of a different look. I really like that head sculpt on that figure. Another Dean Ambrose, guys. We have the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose with the white wife beater and the... I, I don't really care for that jean color, though. We have a Elite Seth Rollins fix-up, the Shield 3-pack with the light... Uh, colored gray knee pads. Kind of painted that on there. Kind of a cool fix up for Seth. We have a D'Lo Brown Elite from Elite 52. We have a Legends or Hall of Fame Roddy Piper. I think it's a Legends figure, but there's a old Roddy Piper Elite. An old custom Luke Gallows. Man, I made this forever ago out of an Undertaker. And it, you know, it held up pretty good. This is one of the first customs I remember ever making on the channel. We have a Gold Dust figure with a head swap. It's the... What was it? Was it the 40, Elite 47.5? I switched out the head sculpt. This this looks so damn good now. I put a basic head on it. I love the way that gold dust looks. We have another FYE two-pack Jeff Hardy. Not the better head sculpt, but you know, it's pretty, it's decent. Here's a really sick fix up, guys. We have the Chad Gable slash Shorty G update. So it has the short, you know, nice cut Shorty G head sculpt and then the ripped up torso on that old Chad Gable elite body. I love the way this figure looks. Really, really nice right there. And uh, probably one of my favorite fix ups I made this year. Next up is a Rey Mysterio in the LSU gear is what I like to call it. You got the purple 
purple and gold or purple and yellow going on. Another Elite 68 Daniel Bryan, but it does have the Elite 73 head sculpt on it. Throwback for sure right here, Brad. We got the EC3 Elite. What a great figure. Just you, you guys know how he was treated. Just garbage. We have Jimmy again, I think, in the uh, in the old Usos, the Elite 30 Usos, I think it was, or Elite 31. We have another Adam Cole, another Elite 71 Adam Cole with the same yelling head sculpt and the short, short legs, the short, stumpy legs. We have Elite 78 Matt Riddle. I think it was Elite 78. Could be wrong, but they, they messed this figure all kinds of up, man. This figure could have been so much better than it was. Just wrong formula, to be honest with you. Next up is Hall of Champions Batista, but it does have a boot swap. Pretty nice figure, though. I really enjoy that one. Next up, guys, is another Legend Killer Randy Orton, Elite 49 right there. Really love this figure, man. It's the only Legend Killer we've gotten so far, but we are getting a new one with the uh, that Elite Fan Central Wave or whatever it is. Here is a basic Liv Morgan. Never saw the Elite in store, so never tracked it down. Just never saw a point to it. We have the official referee for Vindication. Sometimes he serves time on MDT Live, but mainly he's on Vindication. Next up, guys, is Ringside Exclusive CM Punk or ECW CM Punk. Really love this figure. I I remember getting this figure in a big old lot like way earlier when I started my collection, so that one holds near and dear. Another Hunter Hearst Helmsley Toys R Us exclusive network spotlight. We got an epic moments Bobby Fish Undisputed Era 3-pack, but it does have the new Elite 79 Bobby Fish head sculpt on it. Didn't really like that head, so I went ahead and swapped it. We got the WrestleMania Edge, but it is fixed up. This was one of the worst figures of the year, but switching the torso and switching the head sculpt makes this figure a million times better. It actually makes it worth, you know, getting, actually, when you switch all that stuff out with it. Next up is another great figure, Survivor Series stock Jeff Hardy. I think this is the first time we've seen this in this video. I could be wrong, but... One of my favorite Jeff Hardys they've ever made, and probably a personal, probably a top 20 figure they've ever made from Mattel. We have the custom SmackDown on Fox Roman Reigns. I took the Elite 65, switched the head sculpt, and then painted all the red blue, and that's that's what you get right there. Pretty decent. We have an ugly Elite 53 fixed up with red boots, Kevin Owens, just sort of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks with that one, to be honest with you. Next up is a Best of Pay-Per-View CM Punk with a uh, Elite 16 head sculpt and then just a custom t-shirt kind of thrown together. Looks pretty decent. Nothing too immaculate on that one. This one is a really sick Kofi Kingston fix-up. So we have the America attire with the blonde hair and the blue sleeves. And then the gold shoes is what really ties all this together. I love this Kofi. Probably my favorite Kofi in the collection. We have another Jeff Hardy in the Elite 71 with the pink and black and white. Pretty solid figure right there, if I do say so myself. We have the epic moments Milko Mania Kurt Angle with the yellow head sculpt. I remember this moment like it was yesterday. And now here I am, 30,000 years years old. I'm definitely not 30,000, more like 28,741. But here is Undertaker, WrestleMania 35 figure. Great looking figure there. A lot of people call that the best taker of all time. We have a Billy K Basic from the Iconics Battle Pack. We have a Elite 38 Roman Reigns, but it's got a bunch of different parts added to it. I don't know. It's just another Elite Roman Reigns, random AF. Here's one that doesn't belong in the collection, but there is a Conor McGregor. We have another Elite Bobby Lashley, but it is the Elite 69 fix up with the biker trunks, white wrist tape, and then the black and white boots, which look really damn good. I, I love this Bobby Lashley. Really, really good figure up on the shelf. Oh my god, Brad, don't look now, but it's Bumfoot Rey Mysterio. Bumfoot Rey Mysterio, still three cents a day. You could donate to the man to get him a new foot. Man still doesn't have a new foot after all these years. Hate to see it, man. All these years. How many collection videos now with a bum foot? Who knows? Who cares? Next up, another top talent, Finn Balor, with uh, paint all over him, and if you guys know you know he's got black palms i wonder what that's from brad another network spotlight target exclusive matt hardy this time and this figure was awesome because it came with all those different accessories we really need a mower of lawn though that's that's the big one we need the mower of lawn here is elite 67 jeff hardy again but a non-face a non-face paint head sculpt added instead of the you know regular face paint dx two-pack china elite the first ever china figure from mattel great looking figure i know her biceps backwards i get a, a, a comment about it every time i feature her but i don't feel like switching it brad so what are you gonna do come over and switch it for me we have the is this the hall of fame sting i think this is the hall of fame sting it may not be i, I can't freaking remember but there's another sting elite right there i like it another chase variant kyle o'reilly nothing too crazy with that one but 
Uh, this is the second one we've seen. I think we have one or two more, believe it or not, which is outrageous, but there you go. We have the new Elite 81 Shinsuke Nakamura in the SmackDown gear. Really like this one. I did switch out the arms on the Survivor Series figure, so there is that. We have my weird, like, Michael Myers creator wrestler guy. I just kind of threw this neck of Michael Myers mask guy onto this body and just kind of made that guy out of nothing. We have another Hall of Fame Stone Cold Steve Austin figure in his last, you know, match ever vest with the gold chain and the, you know, the blue shorts. Next up is another Undertaker figure. It's in the shorter hair right there. And yeah, I, I think this is a WrestleMania 32 Elite Undertaker. Another War Games gear, guys. We have Bobby Fish this time in the camo gear to match the rest of his brothers in Undisputed Era. We have an Elite 4 cane with a loosey goosey shoulder. Really love this head sculpt, though. That, that I mean, I don't care how loose this shoulder joint is if the head sculpt looks that damn good, Brad. Another Sami Zayn Elite. This may be the TNF, but it does have the solid, like, James Ellsworth red boots on there. I really like that fix-up. We have our little Torito fix-up. So it's an El Torito with a Big E head sculpt. Everybody on the channel knows him as Big Torito, or is it Little, little E? I think it's Little E. That's his dumbass name. Next up is one of my favorite Ultimate Editions. We have the Ultimate Edition Finjamin Balor there, which is absolutely beautiful. I just wish he could move a little bit better. The legs aren't as poseable. If he was on ball joints, man, it would be over with. Speaking of which, I used this Finn Balor body to make a Tony knee. Shout out to my man Mike the Wrestling Collector, and I know he's watching this video, so huge shout out to him for the uh, idea on the Tony Nese there. There's the Zack Ryder head sculpt. And here is a couple more Finn Balors. We have the ringside exclusive fix-up, which is another beautiful fix-up. Elite 74 head, ringside exclusive body, Elite 74 kick pads. And then we have the top talents here with like the... Uh, I think I took an Elite 70 Demon Finn Balor head and then painted it skin tone. Didn't really turn out, but nonetheless, there's all your Finn Balors. And one more to grow on, Brad. You got the suited Finn Balor body using an Ultimate Warrior and an Elite 74 Finn Balor head sculpt. So nothing too crazy going on with that one. We have another Shield Seth Rollins. I think it's the Elite 70 here with the smiling, smirking head sculpt and the Shield body. Kind of a terrible release. I didn't like that figure at all, but you know, what are you going to do? Another Elite 74 Finn Balor, but this time it has the Seth Rollins SummerSlam kick pads on it and black wrist tape. Pretty cool fix-up going on with that one. We have the two-pack Nation of Domination rock that came with Farouk. We got a couple more rocks right here. We have the Elite 47, and then we have the Rocky Maivia ringside exclusive. I think I have a couple of those right there, so there's two more rock figures. We have probably one of the more rare figures in the collection, or at least that I've seen, and it is the Mail Away Toys R Us. Is it Mail Away Toys R Us exclusive Vince McMahon? Man. Regardless, this figure is really hard to come by. The Mail Away Vince McMahon figure. Huge shout out to my man Ty for sending me this. Absolute beast for sending me this. One of my favorite figures, man. That figure is so nice. And for him sending me that for no reason, just being a fan of the channel was epic. We have another R-Truth Elite right there. So that makes two or three. Can't remember. Lost count. Who cares? Moving forward. Another Daniel Bryan Elite with just a, a Dolph Ziggler hoodie on there because I was just doing that for a thumbnail one time. We have another Elite 73 Alistair Black in the house. Speaking of which, I think it'd be cool if somebody were to write down all the numbers for each superstar. If you got the time, do it, Brad. Do it. We have another Samoa Joe Elite in the red. I have way more Samoa Joes than somebody needs, man. Just way too many. We have another Fix Up Adam Cole with the bigger legs and the Bebe t-shirt. We have the Chase variant Elite 69 Mustafa Ali Elite. Love to see that figure. We have another Another Elite 74 Finn Balor, but this time it's just a base figure. Love this 2019 figure of the year. We have another suited body, but this time it's the stock figure. It's the Ultimate Warrior Legend Series 8. Next up, we have another Ministry Taker, Defining Moments, or San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I think it's the I think it's the Defining Moments, though, if I'm not mistaken. We have another Attitude Era Stone Cold Steve Austin in the SCU t-shirt. Fix up AJ Styles Elite 60 with one blue knee pad, one red to match the rest of the USA theme with the, you know, the offsetting red and white. Not red and white, blue and red, whatever the hell. Another Drew McIntyre Elite. I think that's the Survivor Series figure. We have a fix-up Triple H in the black gear. I think this is the Elite 28 again, or the Toys R Us exclusive, but I put the longer haired head sculpt on there. I really like the way that looks. We got Elite 48 Boogeyman in the house. I feel like a lot of people don't really have this figure either, but again, it's not that a lot of people don't have. I think it's just one that's really sought after is the Boogeyman. We got an Elite 22 cane, if I'm not mistaken. Not my favorite cane there, to be honest with you. 
We got the DX 2-pack Triple H to go with our China figure, so that's pretty cool right there. I love that robe, even though the figure's kind of plain Jane. We have a Page Basic. We got another Fantasy Attire Seth Rollins in the cash-in figure, but the Elite 57 arms. We got the gold knee pad there, and yeah, it's just another thrown-together Fantasy Attire that looks pretty cool. We got this random Create a Wrestler guy just kind of throwing parts together. We have a Headless and Handless V1 SummerSlam Matt Hardy figure. We got the WrestleMania 35 two-pack Rey Mysterio Mysterio gear. Love this figure. Super detailed. Everyone needs this in their collection. No doubt about it, man. That one right there is super nice. Next up, guys, we have Larry Zabisco, I think. So we got the, is it Target Exclusive Hall of Fame four-pack Larry Zabisco? I can't remember what four-pack that came in. We have Lince Dorado now. I think this is the Chase variant uh, Lince Dorado from Lucha House Party. Found that at Big Lots, believe it or not. We got an Elite 35 Triple H figure, just a plain Jane figure. Another two-pack figure. Finn Balor from uh, the AJ Styles Finn Balor 2-pack. Another Braun Strowman, but this time he is headless. We got the Elite 4 John Morrison, I think, but it is, uh, I think we switched out the head sculpt and then uh, did some other, I think we switched the arms as well, but I really love this figure. Super poseable, really nice to see. We have a Elite Edge, Elite 8 Edge, I should say, with the red armbands. Really like the way this one looks. Not, not a huge fan of the head sculpt, but still not a bad head sculpt. Uh, I can deal with it. Next up is this custom Elite Mustafa Ali, way before we got ours. It's pretty garbage to be honest, but you know, I was just trying to again, throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. We got the Elite 39 Sting in the red shirt. Really like that, that figure right there. We have the, you just made the list, Chris Jericho. Very nice. I remember when this first released. Super sought after at the time. Still really like it. Really, really nice figure. It really captures, you know, that list Jericho vibe. We got this promo Brock Lesnar that's been in the collection for a long, long time now in the jogging pants and Suplex City t-shirt. Got the, you know, the no uh, gloves on the, on the hands. Trying to bring these figures back in here. We got our America attire exam. Xavier Woods. We got another Hall of Fame Target exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin. Another Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin. Don't know if that's the All-Stars or what. Another Elite Cedric Alexander. Another Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. Another Festival of Friendship KO Show Kevin Owens Elite. Another crappy Create a Wrestler. Absolutely terrible. Elite two, no, Elite 4 Chris Jericho. I think this is, you know, the Jera Show Jericho. Pretty decent figure. I like the blue and white. I think they had a, uh, I think there was a purple chase variant or a running change. Uh, we have the camo gear big show. So those kind of, you know, those kind of go together, to be honest with you. Look at that right there. Their attires match. Even though he doesn't have camo, you get the point. Next up, we have Survivor Series Kane. Most recent Survivor Series Kane. Looks really, really nice. I like that figure a lot. I think that's the one we did a lot of fix-ups to. We have the other Bloodline, you know, MDT Live pick-fed Roman Reigns, where he, you know, he's in the Bloodline. He's got white wrist tape. He matches the Usos and the rest of them. So I really like that with the red bandana and the white vest. We got another Create a Superstar guy, which is pretty crappy. Probably going to torso crack this guy when I get the Chase variant Elite 83 Edge. Another uh, Legends Eddie Guerrero, but I did swap out the biceps to give him the bigger biceps. Really like the way that looks. All right, guys, the camera changed a little bit just simply so that I could, like, scoot some of these figures in. But next up is the top talent, Seth Rollins, with the current head sculpt for Seth Rollins. Next up is an Elite 10 Kane that is headless. We have another FYE 2-pack Hardy that is Matt Hardy. I think that's, like, our second or third. We have, like, this makeshift custom Jericho I made forever ago when I didn't know how to apply decals. Now I'm much better. I need to redo some of those. But shirtless Braun Strowman with the screaming head. I think that's a top talents figure. We got an Elite 67 Orton with the Elite 78 head sculpt. We have a Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch that I freaking love. I love that figure even though it doesn't have ankle pivot. Another Toys R Us exclusive Network Spotlight NXT TakeOver Dallas Finn Balor. We got a Network Spotlight Diesel Big Daddy Cool fart bag. We got uh, another Elite Samoa Joe. I told you, man, we got overloads of Samoa Joe. I can tell you that. GM or slash, you know, Battle Pack Stephanie McMahon. We got a big cast in the Wyatt Colt. So that's, I think that's the first big cast Elite with the red Elite uh, head sculpt on it. We got a, like, kind of fix-up-y dumb Elite 62 or Top Talents Roman Reigns. Another Elite 64 Rollins with a Burn It Down t-shirt. We got another uh, or first of all, we got a we got a corporate cane with shirtless that's got elite legs, and then we have the Elite Five Rey Mysterio in the silver and gold. Next up is an Undertaker. I think this is the Heritage figure with a head swap and an arm swap from a basic. We got another Elite 58 Matt Hardy with the Epic Moments head sculpt. We have Elite 73 Kyrie Sane, very very beautiful figure right there. We got. 
a black attire New Japan Pro Wrestling Shinsuke Nakamura in the all black. We have an Xavier Woods in the first New Day attire right there. We got an Io Shirai, which is one of the better figures of last year. Absolutely, I think a lot of people would agree with that one. Yet again, another Survivor Series Jeff Hardy. Love that figure to death. Akira Tozawa in the Fan Central. I remember finding this out of town. I about shit a brick. We got probably one of my least favorite figures Mattel's ever made, the Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. RIP to Brody Lee. What the hell is that, dust? Oh my god. Well, now it kind of looks like dirt, so I kind of like it. But RIP to Luke Harper slash Brody Lee. I love this fix-up figure that I made forever ago. That's how he looks on MDT. We have another TNF Seth Rollins. It's kind of loosey-goosey. I don't like that. Uh, we have another Roman Reigns Elite. I think that's his second Elite ever. It may be his first, but I think it's his second. We got the Lince Dorado in the MDT colorway from Elite 74, I do believe it was. Elite 78 R-Truth with the 24-7 Championship. We did paint the 24-7 there to make it more accurate. Yet again, another Elite 47 Rock figure. We got another Kofi Kingston back here in the Get Well Soon Xavier attire. Really like that attire right there. I think it's the top talents. We have a headless Adam Cole to go with the rest of our Adam Coles from the video. Urgh. We have a Elite 70 Big Show. I think that's the second one in this video. We got another Jeff Hardy, Elite 57, with the Jax Jeff Hardy jersey. I freaking love that. That is freaking immaculate. I remember making that. We got a Elite 61 Kevin Owens in the red gear with no head. We have this makeshift Harlem Heat Velveteen Dream that somebody sent me. Kind of looks like he'd wear that, though. It's kind of kind of weird. Fan Central Takeover, or the Fan Central Big Show, which is really great. What a great... It's probably the best Big Show by far. I love that bearded head sculpt. We got the Retro Fest GameStop Macho Man in the American attire. We got another top talent Finn Balor with the custom beard that I made forever ago that's god-awful, but, you know, it's still there. Um... Yet again, man, I mean, how many damn times do we have to see the Survivor Series figure or the Elite 56 with these kind of kick pads? Jesus Christ. Another Dean Ambrose from Elite Series 41. We got an Ultimate Edition back here. We got an Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura figure in his bodysuit or his entrance coat. Another Survivor Series John Morrison figure. It looks like this is Jey Uso. I could be wrong. This could be Jimmy, but I think Jey, again, like I said, is the one with the cross tattoo, so I think that is Jey. We got the newest version of Big E. I, I wish he had some white wrist tape or something, but I still like this Big E better than the rest. I just like the colorway. The attire is a lot better. Another Top Talents Ricochet in the gray and white. Another AJ Styles. It looks to be a Top Talents 2019. One of our fantasy Seth Rollins in this like, I don't know, kind of a Elite 37, Elite 45 arms, Elite 45 kick pads, Elite 45 left knee pad, and then a Thanos slash, you know, in game right knee pad from that one basic. I really like that attire, even though I just kind of threw it together. Elite 53 Kevin Owens in the KO Show attire. We got one of our women's figures here in the Lita Royal Rumble figure. Really like this one a lot. We got the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre with the updated skin tone. Really like this figure a lot. It looks like we got one of my favorite Mattels of all time, the Defining Moments Chris Jericho figure. Absolute nostalgia wrapped up on that one. We got the Elite 12 Kane. I don't own the Hell of Champions, so I'm pretty sure that is the Elite 12 itself. We got Alexander Wolf, the collector's edition Alexander Wolf. Next up is another Dean Ambrose. It looks to be the Elite 48 figure right there with the light jean color. Really like that. Yet again, another Jeff Hardy with the FYE 2-pack with the Elite 71 interchangeable head sculpt. Target exclusive Rocky Maya Via. Elite 82 Jerry the King Lawler with his cape and all of his goodness. We got a Randy Orton. I think this is a best of pay-per-view Randy Orton. I could be mistaken about that one. We got a best of pay-per-view Bret the Hitman Hart with a t-shirt. We have an Elite 82 Drake Maverick with girl hands on it to make them more accurate and look way better. I really like that fix up. We have a Big E Elite 52 or Elite 53. I can never remember. It's either one of the two because, you know, two New Day members come with one and then one with the other. Another Legend Killer, Randy Orton. We got another Fan Dango figure right there with the crappy ripped up torso for no reason. We have the Peyton Royce Basic from the Iconics Battle Pack. We have an Elite 78 Randy Orton fix up with the Elite 67 head sculpt on it. We got an Elite 20 Chris Jericho. Really underrated figure. I love this figure. I love this attire. Best in the world on the butt. 
That one right there is great. Milko Mania Epic Moments 3-pack WCW Alliance Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. Color fix up and it is the Elite 74 with the Buddy Murphy kick pads. We got a Hall of Fame Target exclusive Edge fix up here. Uh, I love this camo gear, but we put on the you know the Tully Blanchard torso or the Arn Anderson Terry Funk torso with that beautiful pissed off head sculpt. We got another Rollins back here, no knee pads, but it is the top talent Seth Rollins. We got a uh, Epic Moments Festival of Friendship Chris Jericho from. Kevin Owens. Moving forward, we got an Elite 77 Ricketh Rude. I think this is our second one in the video thus far. We got another Jason Jordan. So here is our uh, third or fourth Jason Jordan in this video, it seems like. We got a creator wrestler right here. Big American guy. I don't know what the hell you'd call him, but there he is. Yeah, got uh, Elite 67 Randy Orton yet again. We have an Undertaker. I think this is, I don't know, maybe this is the 20 and 0 Undertaker. I think that's the 20 and 0 Undertaker. Toys R Us exclusive, maybe. We got the naked Rusev figure. You slide this down, and then he looks like he's naked with the WWE Championship. We got another legend killer, Randy Orton. Yet again, another blue Tista. We got our jacket swagger that I was talking about earlier with the interchangeable head sculpt. We got probably one of the most underrated figures in my entire collection, this Elite Aiden English. And you can't see it, but it has the Sheamus torso, and it's just, it works beautifully for Aiden English. I really love this Aiden English figure. Need to get him back in the ring on, on Vindication over there. We got Dad. Ash Wilder, the other half of the Revival. We got ourselves another Elite 69 Bobby Lashley or Bobby Trashley, whatever you'd like to call him there. We have another suited body and this time it is Paul Heyman right there to go with our Roman Reigns. NWO Scott Hall. We got our first SummerSlam Rollins. I don't know if it's our first, Brad. We, I, yeah, who knows? This may be our eighth in this video. I've lost count at this point. We got our WrestleMania 12, Shawn Michaels. We got our Elite 69 fix up with the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. Really like this figure a lot. I'm telling you, dude, the Rey Mysterio figures are just so freaking nice. We got one half of Authors of Pain. We have another KO from WrestleMania 34, the WrestleMania 34 set. I think that was from his match at WrestleMania. 33. Speaking of which, we have another Elite 47 fix-up Kevin Owens. Other half of the Ascension, Brad, we have Connor in his Wyatt Colt gear as well. The other half of the Usos, we have Jay Uso from the Elite 64 set. We have my custom Elimination Chamber, I think 2019 AJ Styles. I think that's the case right there with the white outsoles, if I'm not mistaken. We have the Epic Moments Hardy Boys Return Jeff Hardy with the custom t-shirt. Really love the way that looks. And then we have the ringside exclusive Walter, which is a really great figure. One of the better figures of the year. And then here is our other half of AOP that has a loosey-goosey torso, or not loosey-goosey torso, but waist swivel, which is freaking terrible. We have Elite Series 29 Punk. Really like this attire. Don't really like the solid black kick pads, but you know, what are you going to do? RIP to this man. I think his birthday was literally like a couple days days ago to Shad. We have the Elite 7 Shad figure. Really great figure right there. One of the first figures I got, him and JTG. Uh, we have another one of the top talents, AJ Styles, but it is with the Elite 66 kick pads. ESPN Brad. Buddy Murphy coming in here, Elite 72. Very, very nice figure. We have the official, official, or the official referee for MDT Live, the Sergeant Slaughter referee figure for MDT Live. We got, yet again, another Seth Rollins. This is sort of our, like, 2020 fix-up Rollins using the top talents. I just put a black knee pad on there and the one gloved hand to make that top talents into a current, you know, up-to-date Seth Rollins, but probably going to be outdated by now. But shield Seth Rollins yet again. We got another Survivor Series Kane figure, which is our second one of the video. I think, I, I don't know if I have two or three of them, but we have a, yet again another fix up of the FYE Matt Hardy. This is with the epic, or no, that's with the basic WrestleMania head sculpt, is what that is. My bad. We have the Defining Moments HBK from WrestleMania 25 in the white and bronze attire. Really, really like that. I really want the coat from that. The coat and the, uh, the hat from that is really sick. We have the Elite 66 Kevin Owens. We got another top talent, Seth Rollins, with the SummerSlam arms and the Monday Night Rollins t-shirt. Really like that fix-up right there. It's freaking beautiful. It looks like 2018 Rollins when he was tearing it up. We got a Survivor Series Jeff with the SummerSlam head sculpt. All the purple ties in together. I really like that one. Another Target exclusive, Network Spotlight, but this time it is Rey Mysterio in the blue and gold instead of the purple. We got another Crow Sting in the defining moment, so we got yet another one to add to the collection there. Elite Series 69 Champa back at it again. I think that's our second or third in the video. Can't remember. 
I think this makes another Elite 11 or 13 Rey Mysterio in the white and black. We got another Triple H. I think it's, it's one of those series. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's pretty much the same as the others. Elite 57 fix up Seth Rollins. Another Elite 71 Jeff Hardy with the other interchangeable head sculpt. I think it was from his last match on SmackDown, if I'm not mistaken. We have that god-awful Cactus Jack slash Mick Foley figure coming in here, nearing the end of the, the big old pile that we got right here. We are nearing the end here. We got my favorite Undertaker figure in my collection, the one that you guys saw at MDT Hell's Gate. It's the WrestleMania body, basic 74 head sculpt, and then the WrestleMania trench coat and hat. We have a custom elite of Ultimo Dragon. If I can put the damn, if I could put the damn thing in front of the camera, there you go. We got a custom creative superstar right here with the Darren Young head sculpt. Looking pretty fire right there. All right, guys, hopefully this is the last camera angle for the big middle pile, and then we will get into the customs, guys. So let's rattle it off. We are back again with another two-pack ringside exclusive Matt Hardy from the Hardy Boys two-pack. We got an Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler in the silver jacket. We got an Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler with a super-duper Lucy goosey torso you hate to see that elite 69 ricochet for the 14th time this video we got the first elite elias which i thought was a pretty good release if i do say so myself we got the flip side of the hardy boys with the ringside exclusive jeff now instead of the mat we have a beautiful looking uh here comes the pain brock lesnar god that's such a gorgeous figure i love that figure it's one of the better figures right there you got elite 64 kurt hawkins we have elite 52 kofi kingston the other side of Elias, the third most recent Elias. It'll probably be our last one for a minute, but it's the one in the man bun. We got another Rey Mysterio, like a Elite 72 slash 69 hybrid with it. We got another Hunter Hearst Helmsley. I feel like we've seen quite a few of those in this video. We got the Legend Series Jake the Snake Roberts, still with the snake attached. We have the WrestleMania Heritage Undertaker, which is a worse version of the Decade of Domination, if you ask me. I know they're slightly different, but here's the Elite 64 Seth Rollins. We got the ringside exclusive Finn Balor with a custom jacket and the Elite 74 head sculpt, and I did paint the outsoles white, so that's beautiful right there. Speaking of which, we got another top talent, Finn Balor, in the house in the Mania 34 gear. Ringside exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt Elite, which is one of the worst figures of the year, if you ask me. We have Eric Rowan, which is a custom Wyatt Cole Eric Rowan with the Bludgeon Brothers head sculpt on it. We have another MVP. We got MVP, which is an Elite 9 and 1 hybrid. We got the Elite Dude Love. Was it Elite 62 that that figure came in? I believe it was. We have Elite 51 Roman Reigns with the light blue vest. Elite 51 AJ Styles to pair with that. We got yet again another Samoa Joe. I think that's the Elite 64 of Samoa Joe. An Epic Moments Matt Hardy from the Epic Moments Hardy Boy 2-pack with an Elite 58 head sculpt on it. We have yet again another Kyle O'Reilly Chase variant from Elite Series 80. I think this is our fourth and final Blue Tista. That may be our third. We may have one more to show you guys. Another Roman Reigns, and this is the one I actually use for my current day one, so there is that one finally. I feel like I've been waiting on that one for a minute. We got a Dean Ambrose that I use on MDT Live. That's the exact one I use for that. We got the NXT Target Exclusive slash Ringside Exclusive Andrade C and Almas. Yet again, another Elite Series 67 Jeff Hardy. We got another Elite Batista, Elite 30 Batista this time, not a Blue Tista just yet. We got a fix up on the Entrance Greats Elite Kurt Angle with the red and white boots, which we love to see. Ringside Exclusive Edge, the three and one Edge with the, you know, the Edge Heads Edge. We got the Fan Central Triple H with the Fidget Cell. Oh my God, that one's, this is the worst of all time. That's the worst of all time. Not even close. That's terrible. Love that figure, but that is god awful. We got another elite Drew McIntyre in the house. We got the MDT Live Champion, or the MDT Champion Roman Reigns with his bloodline attire with the red tights and the ankles and the and the everything. This is a beautiful specimen. I love that Roman Reigns right there. We got our uh, next top talent, Finn Balor. We got another gender football, Mahal. This is a custom that BEW made me way back in the day when he was WWE Champion. We got another Elite 35 Triple H in the house. Nothing too special going on there. We got another 
SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins with the uh, the other smiling head sculpt. The first demon Elite Finn Balor we ever got, Elite 41 Finn Balor. We got our entrance greats Bobbeth Roode here with the mustache and the robe. We got the Attitude Era Rock figure missing his glasses. This is an Ultimate Edition head sculpt, but it is missing the sunglasses. They're over there somewhere, I'm sure. Elite 66 Nikki Cross. WrestleMania 31 Heritage Kane. Hall of Fame 4-pack Target exclusive Eddie Guerrero. We got this weird Miz create a wrestler. I think this guy was going to be a referee, and then he was too jacked, so I said, nah, Brad, you're cut. You can't be bigger than the talent. We got the two-pack Finn Balor and AJ Styles Finn Balor Demon without the head sculpt. We got the Fan Central Mojo Raleigh in the house with the lime green gear. We have the two-pack WCW Bret Hart and Goldberg Bret Hart with the weird pink color. We have another Elite 47 AJ Styles with some weirdly painted kick pads on there. We got another Ultimate Edition Triple H in the house. Love to see it. We got another Elite Demon Finn Balor. It is the SummerSlam 2016 where he won the Universal Championship. Really wish I had a version with a ripped up torso. We have Jose, but this is made out of a Godfather, so it's Ho Ho Jose or Jose, like H-O-S-E instead of regular spelling. We got another rock concert rock. I mean, Jesus Lord. We got Elite 76 Otis in the house, one of the better figures of the last year, I would say. We got Elite 77 AJ Styles with a broken neck. We got Elite 74 Andrade Cien Almas. I love this, this entrance coat right here. This is a really damn good figure. That was a great figure last year. We got a fix-up on the Elite 70 Ziggler in all black instead of the white boots. Here is the worst Elite figure Mattel has ever created, the ringside exclusive Shield Kurt Angle. God awful. We got a Elite 24 fix-up Dolph Ziggler. We got another Braun Strowman, a top talents with the screaming head sculpt. We got Angelo Dawkins in the building. Terrible, just so big for no reason. We got Elite 75 Hurricane, it looks like, with, oh my god, if you if you position this right, it could look like just a floating head. You got Elite 69 Rey Mysterio or Elite 67 Rey Mysterio. We got the Triple H Mail Away. I don't remember if it's, I think it's a Mail Away. I can't remember. Maybe it's Walgreens exclusive. I can't remember the damn series, Brad. Elite 81 Rock, god awful figure. Look at the bobblehead. <laughs> Oh, that's bad, dude. Look at this. Yeah, that's bad. Another Shield Dean Ambrose. That's I think that's the first one right there. Another Elite Undertaker. I believe this is Elite 1. It could be different, but I think that's the Elite 1 Undertaker. We got Elite 61 Shane McMahon, I think. I could be wrong. Another Flashback Walmart exclusive WrestleMania 10 Shawn Michaels. Another Elite 58 Dean Meme Machine Ambrose. We got the orange attire for Roman Reigns. Nice little fix-up Elite Roman Reigns. A armless Elite 66 Chase variant Jeff Hardy. We have my custom elite Tyler Bate. Work in progress. Love that head sculpt made from a Jax Billy Gun or an R3 Tech Billy Gun. We got uh, the Legends Rock figure right there. We have another Elite Series 39 Sting in the red and black. We got the best of pay per view CM Punk with the shaved head, which is pretty nice in that gray and purple. We have the Target exclusive Hall of Champions Undertaker figure that came with the World Tag Team Championship. We have our last R-Truth Elite from what I think. I could be wrong. I think I've been saying that every time we showed an R-Truth. We have this fix-up Kofi Kingston with blue kick pads. We got another Randy Orton with, uh, I think it's an Elite 67 fix-up with the with the old basic head, which I really like. I think that looks great. We got a Jax Hornswoggle in here for some reason. We have the Elite, I think this is the 2-pack Goldberg from the WCW 2-pack with Bret Hart, but it's got the Elite 74 head sculpt on it. We have another bludgeon brother Luke Harper with the Elite 35 head sculpt on it. RIP again to the legend. We got a WrestleMania Triple H right there from WrestleMania 32. We have an Elite, I think it's 25 Brodus Clay. I could be wrong about the series, but Elite Brodus Clay. We have an Elite, what is this? Elite 17 Kofi Kingston. Beautiful looking figure. We got a Create a Superstar, a really ugly Create a Superstar right there with that guy. We have Elite Series 82 Keith Lee, the only Keith Lee besides the custom one, which is right here. So we can knock both of those out at the same time. Uh, the Elite 82 is much better than my custom. Don't, don't judge the custom, Brad. We have Elite 69 Rey Mysterio in the green attire. The worst of the two for sure. Elite 72 is much more superior over that one and Elite 67. We have the Elite 5th. No, this is the NXT Elite Shinsuke Nakamura. Mine 
behind you. We have a Fix Up Elite 54 Jey Uso right here in the all white gear. We have another Elite 56 AJ Styles with the Elite 47 head sculpt on it. Another Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler. Beautiful looking fix up with the smaller arms and the black outsoles painted on there. We have the TNF Elite 51 mashup. Maybe this is just the Elite 51 Sami Zayn, I think. We got the SummerSlam Edge figure in his, uh, this, is, this is not a good release. I didn't really care for that release, to be honest with you. We got another Elite Undertaker from uh, the early 2000s right there with the longish brown hair. We have another headless Braun Strowman in the house. We got Christian. I think this is the only Christian Elite I have besides that one from the Brood. But there is Christian. We have the Elite 64 Collector's Edition Pete Dunn. We got the NXT sort of, uh, you know, throwback Roman Reigns Target Exclusive. We have another Elite 57 Seth freaking Rollins. We got another two-pack Finn Balor Demon from the AJ Styles Finn Balor two-pack from TLC. We have our second Jack Gallagher. Her Elite from Elite 56. We got our second Samoa Joe from the Survivor Series. So the Survivor Series Elite in blue Samoa Joe. Fan Central Daniel Bryan with the Elite 73 head sculpt on it. Another, or no, this is my fix up, Cedric. See how much better the figure looks with the with the sculpted torso, man. That's how the figure should have came. And the render image looked that way, and then they switched it at the last second. We got my fantasy attire white, uh, you know, no paint required Rey Mysterio figure. We have another Elite Drew McIntyre right there. Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler, so the first ever Dolph Ziggler Elite with the nice cloth vest on there. We have the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan, which is beautiful. I took his accessories off because I knew they'd fall off at the bottom of the pile. We got the Wyatt Colt Sheamus, so it is the Smiley Sheamus for the Wyatt Colt for the pick fed. We got Elite 11 Miz in the bright blue attire. I really, really like that attire. We got Elite 60 AJ Styles in the house again for the 80th time another headless Dean Ambrose shield figure we have another shield figure but it's not it's not a shield figure actually it's a shield member but it is Dean Ambrose from Elite Series 36 we got the Hall of Fame Trish Stratus Elite, which is a really great figure. We have a fix-up Rusev from Elite Series 65, which is a beautiful looking figure as well. He has the custom Happy Rusev Day t-shirt on. We have the uh, Elite 64 Collector's Edition Pete Dunne again with white kick pad fix-up and white wrist tape. And then for our last two figures, guys, we have a fix-up Blue Boot Kevin Owens in Elite 66. And then the last figure in the big pile is going to be the Ultimate Edition Fiend with his axe handle accessory. So we just got through the massive pile in the middle. Now we have to get through our customs and our AEW and John Cena collections. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, it's time for the custom round, so I'm just going to roll off the customs. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it. I do have more in-depth videos of these customs on the channel, so just look up my custom figure collection or, you know, specific videos regarding customs. Let's go ahead and dive in, guys. This is about the Dolph Ziggler cash-in. This is from his cash-in. I know we got an Elite 24, but this is much more accurate. Custom head sculpt, all of that good stuff. That's a much more accurate Dolph Ziggler right there. Next up is this fantasy attire Dolph Ziggler. It's just pretty much a white attire with pink decals on it, the DZ and everything like that. Nothing too out of the ordinary anything with that one, but next up is another Ziggler. It is his official attire he wore when he won the Money in the Bank briefcase, so it says headliner right there in the black and the pink and the blue. Really like that one a lot. Next up is a custom I really don't even like, and it's this Jeff Hardy in pink. This is inspired by his Jax TNA figure, but it chips and it's just, God, it didn't seal right. The paint's all, it's just terrible. I hate that figure, to be honest with you. Next up is the, uh, the Shooting Star Press RKO Randy Orton right here with no wrist tape or anything in the army green. This is obviously when he RKO'd Evan Bourne out of midair and so I have a custom to commemorate that moment because you guys know I'm a huge Orton guy so I do have that. Next up is our Rated R Lita and this actually does have um, a custom sculpted chest so it's more accurate to Lita around the time. You guys know the Mattel kind of is kind of, you know, they don't really give their uh, women's figure the, 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 I don't even know what the hell you would call it, the bustiness, I don't know. Next up is a SummerSlam Randy Orton with the light blue and black. A lot of these Randy Orton's, you know, they're just different trunks color or slightly different head sculpts. So next up, we have like a 2013 in the red, uh, the red, black, and white right there. 
Son of a bitch. Next up, we have SummerSlam 2004, Randy Orton, where he won the World Heavyweight Championship from Chris Benoit. We got uh, Royal Rumble 2009, Custom Randy Orton. We got a TLC 2013, Randy Orton. I think that's what that is, where he won both championships. It's like a black and silver. We have a Team Extreme leader this time, and it does have the same sculpt as the rated R one. It's just covered up by the zebra print and stuff like that. I didn't like the one that Mattel gave us, so I wanted a specific, you know, rated R Lita, a Team Extreme Lita, and all, you know, so so on and so forth. We have his silver attire from 2014 with a custom head sculpt. We have my Joker attire, Jeff Hardy with the rainbow hair. Really, really like this one using that Survivor Series Jeff. We have a WrestleMania 34 Elite Randy Orton that actually is uh, way better than the one that we got from Mattel. You guys can see on the back it says Orton. It's got like the snake skin on it, the browns and everything like that. That 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 figure looks great. Next up, we have WrestleMania 31, Randy Orton yelling from the, you know, the curb stomp RKO. That's where this came from. It's that red, silver, and black attire. I think we were supposed to get that from Mattel, but then they ended up canceling it or something like that, and then it never got released. Next up is a white fantasy attire, Randy Orton, with the white, gray, and black designs with the white tape. I'd like to get that one remade onto a modern Orton with bigger arms and stuff. We have a WrestleMania 34, Randy Orton, with like this bronzish color and like gold and orangish color with like his hair coming back. Kind of like a Legend Killer head skull, but it was slightly different right there. So there is that one. And then uh, one of the last few Ordens we have is this Royal Rumble 2017 where he won the Royal Rumble to go on to beat Ray Bray Wyatt for the WWE Championship. Next up is an, I think it's Extreme Rules. No, I think it's Money in the Bank 2016 Dolph Ziggler. I really like this attire with the skulls and the black and blue. We have SummerSlam 2017, or maybe it's SummerSlam 2016. I think it is. SummerSlam 2016, where he took on Dean Ambrose. Here is the silver Don't Tread on Me attire with the flag and everything like that. We also have Extreme Rules 2016, where he took on Trash Corbin in the pink and white. Love this gear. Really wish we would have got this from Mattel, but uh, this one's really sick. He even wore this shirt during the match, so this is completely accurate. It even has the uh, the braid in the back and everything. Really love that figure. That's, that's, one, that's one of the OG customs in my collection. I've had that for a really long time. Next up, we have Willow Jeff Hardy. Now, this one is one of the better ones in my collection. I love this. This mask was made by BEW. We got the shirtless, you know, skin on here. I'm supposed to have the custom shirt on there, but uh, it'll stain the torso, and I just love that Willow Jeff Hardy. That's that's immaculate. Next up is my fantasy attire Punisher Jeff Hardy with the Punisher face paint. This is one of everybody's favorite. Got the trench coat, custom Jeff Hardy shirt, even the Jeff Hardy, you know, Punisher face paint. I said custom Jeff Hardy shirt. I meant Punisher shirt. You, you know what I meant. Next up, we have a WrestleMania 23 Randy Orton. Nothing too crazy. I think the head sculpt is like slightly altered or something like that. We also have this uh, fantasy attire, Jeff Hardy. It's just a purple belt, and then he's got like some different sleeve color designs going on. A lot of these Ortons have loose ankles, and it really pisses me off, but there's this Jeff Hardy with the, you know, the blue, green, and black camo, and then the entrance greats head sculpt, everything like that. I really like that one. Next up is an Armageddon 2003 Randy Orton, and this one's pretty gorgeous as well. That purple is super clean on there. And then the last two on this left section is going to be this 2016 Dolph Ziggler in the black and white DZs. Nothing too crazy with that one. And then we have his other 2016 attire where it's just like some, you know, some regular black decals up here. And on all these Zigglers, he does have the accurate boots. They're sculpted flaps and everything, and those were made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Now we're getting in on the right-hand side, and we got a lot more over there. We have a ton of Kevin Owens. So first up, we have this red Price Fighter KO. We have one of my favorite tires he's ever worn. I think he wore this at, uh, what was it? I don't remember, but I love the alternate with the blue and red tape and then the KO with the United States gear. The, the Mr. America or whatever the hell it was for Kevin Owens when he was, you know, not stepping on his face. And it was like the face of America. I really like that gimmick. There's the Fight Anyone right there. We pretty much got that from Mattel, but this is before that. This is one of my favorite customs in my entire collection. This is a 2005 Chris Jericho. Just look at the these tights right here with the powder blue and the pink Jericho on the side right there, dude. That is just immaculate. I love this. That 2005 era Jericho is just so nice. I love this figure. This is just this. Uh, God, just give it to us, Mattel. Even though we'll never get it because uh, he's in AEW now, so the custom even holds true. We got a Kill Steen kill Kevin. You know Kevin Steen there. 
from the Independence. We got an Armageddon 2003 Triple H in the blue gear made by my boy Jesus. Shout out to him. We also have a WrestleMania 19 Triple H. I know we got the official thing from Mattel, but I got this made way before that. So there is that. We have another alternate to the Mr. America or the Face of America KO right there. I like the one with the alternating colors, but you know, it is what it is. We have our Venom Prince Devitt custom, obviously Finn Balor, but this is back in the independence when he was Prince Devitt. And then uh, we also have this custom elite Leo Rush. I love Leo Rush, so I got this made right here, or I made this myself of Leo Rush. Scales well with everything. Continuing on with Kevin Owens, guys, we got a couple MDT pick fed versions of Kevin Owens. We have the Hell's Gate, and then we have the Royal Rumble. So I have him wearing the Kevin F. and Owens shirt. I'm sure he'll have a custom shirt made for My Damn Nation as well. We have this Hell in a Cell Kevin Owens. It it's got dust all over it. Jesus Christ, that is terrible. Looks like it's stained or something. I don't know. I'll have to fix that, but there is that. We also have the uh, Fight Anyone with the blue kick pads, which is pretty much what we got from Mattel, except it didn't have the blue kick pads. We got the SummerSlam 2017 KO in the red. We got uh, another KO with the yellow on the outside. The only thing is, is I, I don't like the vinyl decals on these shirts because they don't stick all the way. I need to get more flat decals for these. These are really good. These are my MDT Live Kevin Owens. You guys have seen these before. You got Kevin Owens Live there for MDT Live, and then you got this clean, just block letter KO with the pink kick pads to tie into the show so i really enjoy those we also got our hell's gate kenny omega with the bloodied up face because uh, this is like a defining moments now he started off with just a regular custom one of one attire but then after all the blood and stuff i didn't want to uh you know, I didn't want to customize over it or anything or clean it, so there's that. We also have these two Young Bucks, the MDT Hell's Gate Young Bucks in the pink attires. Really like these a lot, so those tie in pretty well right there. Another Kevin Owens, guys, it's just his NXT look with the duct tape logo. You know, he, he, he pretty much looked like that when he first came into NXT. Got some more Jerichos. We got some early 2000s Jericho right there. I love that, that silver and yellow lightning gear. That's pretty nostalgic for me. We also have uh, this Jericho from the early 2000s and the late 90s. We have our Team Extreme Matt Hardy because we never got one from Mattel so I do have this custom there and it doesn't look like we're going to get one anytime soon. We have a No Mercy Finn Balor. I think that's what that's from. That gray and white where he took on uh, Bray Wyatt I do believe it was. We have our Extreme Rules Finn Balor. We actually got this from Mattel in the Top Talents line, but mine, I think, is a little bit more accurate with the, you know, the silver and the dry brushing. We got a couple red Finn Balors right here. We have, like, a darker red from the Royal Rumble, and then we have this lighter, brighter red from a different event. I think he just wore this on Monday Night Raw or Survivor Series or something like that. Next up, we have another nostalgic one for me. We got the X's or the green and silver X's from Chris Jericho. He was one of my first favorite wrestlers when I first started watching back in the day in the late 90s, early 2000s. So I, I like to get the attires that, you know, bring back that nostalgia. We got this, like, custom one-of-one one Carnage Demon Finn Balor going on right here. I made that this year or late 2020. So that one looks pretty good there. We have another one. This one, not too big of a fan of. It's like a anti-demon type deal with white. It's it's all right. It's not the best. We have my custom NXT Finn Balor that I got made before the Elite 82, which looks great. Made by BEW Animations. We have my figure, my brother's figure, and my wife's figure. So here is me. Here is my brother, and here is my wife. All of us look pretty. I think it looks pretty accurate. I need an updated head sculpt. Mine's a little bit outdated now. My hair doesn't look like that anymore and stuff. I think my wife's figure is beautiful. Brad's is also good. I made my wife's and Brad's. BEW is the one that is responsible for making mine. We have this SmackDown 2018 Finn Balor with the blue and white with the long beard. Shout out to my boy Rodney for this one. Really love that. We got the uh, Seth Streak and Rollins right here, the naked Seth Rollins figure with the WWE title covering up his bum and his gonads right there, so that's pretty good. We got the, what, what the, was it Blackpool, NXT TakeOver Blackpool or NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool or something like that, Finn Balor, where he showed up. We have the look of the Irish Finn Balor in the green attire. He's worn this a couple times at live events and stuff like that. Here is probably one of my favorite customs I've ever made. It is the Buzz Lightyear Custom Elite 7. 
Seth Rollins with the custom BEW head sculpt. So the Buzz Lightyear Rollins is everybody's favorite. I really like it. Hit me one day looking at the SR logo stood for Space Ranger on Buzz Lightyear. And I just love Buzz Lightyear in general. So then when I saw that, I said, oh, damn, bro, I got to make it. It even has the Rollins on the name tag right there. So when I saw that, I had to make that. Another one we have is the Punisher Seth Rollins that I also made. That one just popped in my head one day as well. So you have the Punisher Seth Rollins right there with the skull on the uh, on the entrance coat and everything. And then you have the skull on the knee pad that I also like. And then lastly for the Rollins, not really, but for the fantasy attires, we have this like white, black, and blue and gray Seth Rollins made by my man Chase from Burdown Inc. That is really, really clean. So he absolutely crushed that as well. We have this pink fantasy attire Eddie Guerrero figure, which is absolutely beautiful. I made that later this year as well using the Legend Series 8. We have the WrestleMania 21 uh, Money in the Bank winner Edge figure from the first ever Money in the Bank. So that one was a beautiful one made by Showstopper Custom Figs. We got a custom Elite Jungle Boy figure, which is also really great. Uh, my Luchasaurus is not done yet, but he will be in this video, so you guys can look forward to that. We got another Finn Balor. It is going to be the all-white live event gear. I think he's worn this on pay-per-view maybe once. He may have worn it on TV a couple times, but it's the all-white gear for Finn Balor. We have another Kevin Owens. It is just my Elite 66 with all the custom hand-painted tattoos that I did. All of his updated tattoos are there, besides maybe one or two. We got an Elite Batista here from the mid-2000s when he first joined Evolution, I think, and just, you know, red and uh, silver attire for him. We have an MDT Pick Fed Custom in the MDT Sold Out AJ Styles gear. Shout out to my man Jesus. He loves this attire. It's like the white Carolina blue, silver, and black. Really, really clean. I really like that attire. Just need to switch the head sculpt. Don't like that head sculpt one bit. We have a Custom Elite Bobby Lashley, and I don't know. You guys see all this right here? I don't know what that is. It looks kind of like powder or something, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what, where that came from. It looks maybe like it's old sealant or something, or I don't know, but it won't come off, so I don't know what to say. We have my Spider-Man attire, Cedric Alexander from MDT Hell's Gate. I really love this attire as well. He's, he's you know, he's a bloody freaking mess. And I wanted to leave him that way. We have my custom Elite Orange Cassidy, which is now going to be replaced by the AEW version. But I still like this figure a lot. And it was a good placeholder for the time being. Got a couple superheroes right here. We got our custom Elite Hurricane. And then we have our custom Elite El Generico, a.k.a. Samuel Zane. So these are really nice. I love these two figures. They're kind of earlier customs in the collection, especially the El Generico. We got this custom Elite Brock Lesnar. And this is a figure we've never gotten from Mattel. It's got the, you know, the skull design on the back. I really, really love this. This was made by Beast Nation on Instagram. We have three different Seth Rollins right here. So the first one that we have is a WrestleMania 36 in the all-white Monday Night Messiah gear. We have the Chicago Bulls gear before we got the official from Mattel. And then we have the WrestleMania 35 custom Seth Rollins with the Beast Slayer t-shirt before we were getting that fan takeover or whatever it was. And I'm actually hearing now that the fan takeover line will not be Walmart exclusive, so we'll have to see what comes of that. But uh, there is that. We also have this uh, custom Seth Rollins where it's kind of like a you know a 2014 Rollins you know with the glove look combined with like the hair dye and you know having the blonde streak but I made it lime green and threw it together and uh, just kind of mixed and matched it with the Elite 52 to give us this weird custom Seth Rollins right there. Moving on forward guys we have another Edge custom it is going to be this cash in Edge from New Year's Revolution 2006 I do believe and yeah it's just the attire that he cashed in with it's got a little paint chip on it so it's kind of unfortunate but there is our custom Edge. Next up we have our custom Trash Corbin figure, which is absolutely beautiful, made by Fig Skib. Gotta have our Trash Corbin figure. We have probably my favorite figure in my entire collection, and that has got to be the Custom Elite George Washington, greatest president of all time without George Washington. We would not have all of our freedoms. We would not be where we are today without General George Washington. So we have George Washington, the Custom Elite right there. Beautifully done head sculpt right there by BEW, and then I just kind of combined it with an old Hunter Hearst Helmsley and Ric Flair. Gave him the American flag with the with the axe accessory and there you go general george washington and to go along with general george guys we also have to have the rest of them we got abe lincoln right here which is also a beautiful looking figure and then we have teddy roosevelt so them three together are the founding fathers faction but even though you know abe lincoln and uh, teddy roosevelt were not founding fathers but they still go hand in hand you know the founding fathers what the three i think the three biggest influences to make america what it is you know, what America eventually became 
I think that works out perfect. Next up is our Iron Man Championship, Johnny Gargano from the Pick Fed, shaped to be like the MDT Iron Man Championship. Really love this figure as well. We got the Elite 83 Edge that I did not want to throw into the rest of the collection because of the torso swap and the paint that we added, the chrome shoes and everything. So we basically just upgraded our Elite 83 Edge. So I wanted to put that in the customs pile. We have our custom pink fantasy attire ricochet from mac decals which is a beautiful figure we got another custom right here and i don't even know uh who made this i think angel made this but it's like this chrome and blue ray mysterio which is super sick i can't remember what event he wore that at but i really do love that we got the mdt gm we got eric bischoff in here so a custom elite eric bischoff we got an elite 55 neville with a custom head sculpt i love that long beard head sculpt right there we got our john cena custom i just didn't want to throw this into the big pile so this is just sort of a makeshift dr thugonomics with a money in the bank briefcase chain gang chain and all that you guys watch the pick fed you know exactly who that is we have my monster among men braun Strowman. that is from the pick fed you know he, he he left with kane and now he's returned with kane with long hair and this big iron mask and everything like that running rampant on vindication so that's our monster braun Strowman custom we got quite a few finn balor slash prince devitts coming up so we got our wrestle kingdom carnage prince devitt in the red and black with the purple trunks really love this one we got the punisher devitt so it's the punisher prince devitt body paint you guys know before he became the finn balor demon he was uh prince devitt and he would always rock the different body paints in the independent scene and then he brought it over into wwe which uh brings us to freddy krueger devitt so it's the you know we got the we got the sweater on there we got the nice sweater i think it even yeah it even has uh devitt's coming for you on the back there it even has the custom glove hand and then uh face paint hat all of that good stuff next up is my wrestlemania 35 finn balor so it's got you know the empire state you know like design on the on the chest there and the teeth on the sides of the big demon on the back really nice custom right here I actually hand painted this myself so i was pretty proud of that one next up is the nxt takeover the end finn balor in the black and gray i think this was the demon's last match in nxt so i really like that the black and gray is really clean we have one of my other nxt finn balors in the black and red i think this is one of the first times he rocked the demon in nxt but this was made by Page Customs or P-A-J underscore Customs. Really beautiful design. And don't forget about the eye on the back, man. That right there is all hand painted too. That's gorgeous. We got my most recent custom Finn Balor Demon. It is the SummerSlam 2017 Finn Balor. I love this one to death as well. Just super clean work right here by Unstable Moxley Customs, I think, or Unstable Retired Customs or Retired Unstable. Customs, something like that. I feel bad for not knowing the exact name, but this one is super clean as well. Next up, guys, we have three different Dolph Zigglers. We have uh, my fantasy attire right here in the pink and black show off gear with black boots and black tape and stuff we have my mdt crew with mdt t-shirt right there from my boy rodney and then we have my venomine custom or venomine figs and bew mdt ziggler with the mdt logo on the butt and the crotch piece right there which is also beautiful all those hold near and dear to the heart right there the ones that are mdt inspired are just sick as hell so that is absolutely great Next up, we got a tag team. We got Bad Luck Fale and Tama Tonga. So both of these are looking really good. BEW was responsible for this one. He made the Tron. Oh, he pretty much made the whole thing. And then we have this Bad Luck Fale that I made myself, which uh, turned out pretty decent. I like the way it looks and everything like that. I think this is a pretty good Bad Luck Fale for what we got. All right, I'm going to back it up a little bit. That way we can get a little room here. Next up, guys, we have just a bunch of Elite 45 Seth Rollins. So I have a bunch of variants here. I didn't want these to get scuffed up. You know, they're white and everything. And stacking those figures on top of one another probably would have led to some paint chipping so just for the record we do have quite a few like different fix-ups or different variations of elite 45 so we have the one with the open ones that are accurate we got the gloved ones we got the one with the elite 37 head fix up right there and then the last two is the uh, you, you know the custom painted head sculpt there with the top talents head and then we also have the you know the accurate one with the open knee pads and then the one you know gauntlet fell off in the match and you know he's celebrating because he's smiling with both championships so that's more of a defining moments there and i just didn't want those getting scuffed up with the rest of them so i did separate them and i really love that figure i just don't want them getting messed up we have a custom elite goldberg made by beast nation this one's really really nice i like 
like the Goldberg logo there. You got the nice shiny boots. I wish they would use this formula for Goldberg. I really like how big he is compared to the one that Mattel uses. A few more Devits right here, guys. We have the Anti-Venom Devit. Probably my favorite uh, Probably my favorite Devit design ever. I just love the white. It's super clean and everything like that. You guys know my favorite color is white. So it really covers really nicely. Very beautiful. Attires can be made there. And then you have the Spawn one, which is also super clean. I think the Spawn Devit is really, really underrated. And I think this is the last of our Devits. I could be wrong, but here is the uh, Joker Prince Devit inspired by Heath Ledger's Joker. And it's got, you know, the we stopped looking for monsters under the bed when we realized they're inside of us. And then you got all the good stuff going on. Now, I think that was it for Demons, but we still have some Finn Balor's, guys. We have this, like, white and gray attire inspired by Rodney. So he just kind of made his own fantasy attire out of the gray and white. And then he also made this pink and gray inspired attire, which I also like because it looks like MDT and the triangle designs and everything. These are super clean. I like these a lot. And uh, Rodney just sent me those for being, you know, just such a big fan. Next up, guys, we have a custom elite Chris Benoit from WrestleMania 20, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So we got that one. I had to have at least one Chris Benoit in the collection. Next up, a couple more Batistas. We have a Great American Bash, like 05, I think. I'm still missing the back decal, but the rest of the attire is nice. And then we have this mid-2000s or early 2000s or, you know, right at the start of Evolution Batista as well in like this pewter and dark red attire. We have this Finn Balor from Money in the Bank. I call it like the Spider-Man 2099 gear. You got like the red and white and blue for the BC and the Finn Balor and everything like that. Next up, we have like this makeshift Batista that I kind of put together for the pick fed and then I end up not even using him or anything like that. I really want to use Batista one day, but that's all we got right there. Sort of like a mix match between his old self and his new self or if he would have come back today and wrestle. Elimination Chamber 2018 in the blue and black attire. We got this Buddy Murphy in red and black pretty much just thrown together. It's got a little bit of paint on there, so it is a custom. We have the all white fantasy attire Roman Reigns figure with the black and gold chest plate on there. Really, really clean right here. Would love to remake that one day. The legs are kind of wobbly dobbly. We have the Survivor Series Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan attire from Seth Rollins right there. Really like this a lot. Made by Mac Decals. We got the Money in the Bank 2019, right? Money in the Bank 2019 and navy and gray for Finn Balor. We have this cane fix-up with the R3 Tech head sculpt and stuff. Sort of like a fix-up, but kind of a custom because I had painted it up a little bit, but there is that Kane. We have an Elite 72 Batista, but I did add some tattoos and stuff like that too because it was missing this flag tattoo over here and I added some, you know, some uh, shading and things of that nature to the Elite 72. We have my DX Triple H right here with the handlebar mustache. The only thing is, is I did just add these lime green boots just for a, a funny fix up one day and then it's just stuck on there. I need to put the black boots back on there, but I don't know. I low key kind of like it a little bit. Just a little different look for him. We got some other Triple H's. We have his O2 return right here with the uh, Jax head sculpt repainted on there. Really like the way that looks. Big Triple H guy, so I wanted to add that to the collection. We also have a couple other Triple H's from the mid 2000s. We got a WrestleMania 20 Triple H and then we have a like 2005 era Triple H with the handlebar mustache on there. Really wish we could get more Triple H's from around that era like Evolution Triple H. I feel like we don't get enough of those. I know we got some colorful attires but we need some you know a handlebar mustache attire. We need like you know the 2004s and 5s too. Next up guys we have some Rollins coming up. We have the 2015 WWE Champion attire right there in the black and gold with the gold kick pads and then the gray on the entrance vest. We also have some 2014s right here with, uh, you know, his, his black and silver look where he was carrying around the Money in the Bank briefcase. We also have, like, a defining moments right here where he won the case with that, you know, his 2014 singles run when he aligned with the authority. And then we have the uh, a fix-up cash-in attire where, it, you know, it just switched out the arms and then added some chest hair and stuff like that. I just didn't want some of these to get scuffed up simply because, you know, like, you never know. When they're on top of each other like that, guys, that's when you get loose parts and loose stuff and stuff like that. So there is that. We also have uh, a WrestleMania 30. 34 Rollins as well as a Money in the Bank 2019 Rollins right here where he returned. He just didn't have the SR right here. He had the belt buckle logo when he was going on that singles run with the Intercontinental Championship. It may have been Money in the Bank 2018, but moving forward, one more Seth Rollins for us and it is the 2014 singles run right there with the little belt buckle logo and then the black vest and stuff like that. And then coming up on the last few guys we have this black and gold Batista. Nothing too crazy, just the animal with the black and gold there. We have a Lars Sullivan Custom. Pretty garbage, but you know, it looks like Lars Sullivan. We have this Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle, which is a really beautiful custom. I just wish I could like use it. It's so, it's such a beautiful piece that I don't even want to move it really. 
It just sits there like a statue. Oh, I forgot about this 2000s Triple H, like early 2000s. Before we got the Ultimate Edition, I had this made. We got two Alistair Blacks here. I have like a white fantasy attire gear right here with just white trunks, white and gold, and then white and black on the kick pads. And then we have this Alistair Black that Mad Reaper made. I commissioned from him way before we got the one from Mattel, like way, way before. And then it has the hand-painted design on the back. And this was like a Heat Slater head sculpt that he made into Alistair Black. I thought it was pretty damn good. And then last but not least, guys, we have a few Dolph Ziggler's here. We have, I think this was Money in the Bank, like 2018 or 2017. We have his blue gear that he wore at live events, but I think he ended up wearing this on pay-per-view like once or twice. And then we have his No Mercy gear where he took on Miz in the career versus Intercontinental Championship match, one of my favorite Ziggler uh, matches of all time. Then we have Money in the Bank again in the Hollywood heel here in like the zebra, like the black and silver with the Hollywood heels all over it. And then last but not least, we have my MDT, or not MDT, but my Dolph Ziggler promo gear where it's him in the t-shirt in the tuxedo jacket with the skinny jeans and the Converse is right here made by Matt Reaper with the ponytail. And that is every single custom, I think, in my entire collection and every loose figure. Every single figure up on the shelf besides my John Cena as is right here. Now we got to get through the AEW figures, the John Cena collection, and we are completely done. All right, guys, now getting into the AEW figure collection, not going to spend a ton of time on it because we literally just reviewed a lot of these, but we have Series 3 Nick Jackson up front. We got Series 2 MJF in the house. I can't wait for the, the AEW figure collection to grow even more, but Series 3 pot coming out. We need more Chase variants as well, man. I don't have literally any of them. Series 1 King Omega. We got another Series 2 MJF. I need to get the Chase variant, man. I really want the pink attire, but, you know, once you get those Chase variants, it's like you can't even really open them, man. I mean, they're they're literally so valuable at the moment. You got Series 1 Matt Jackson with the MDT Tag Team Championship. You have my custom Luchasaurus, which I guess could have went in the customs, but it's not, it's not completed just yet. Uh, slowly but surely working him all together. Really like that Luchasaurus, though. We got the Blood Brothers 2-pack Dustin Rhodes. We all also have another Series 1 Matt Jackson. Next up, guys, we have a Series 3 Darby Allen, which is a really great figure, and I actually think I have one more still on the way. We have a Series 1 Cody. We have, oh my god, we have another uh, Series 1 Nick Jackson, or, or you know, uh, the pair there to, you know, compare the MDT Tag Team Championships. We have Series 3 Riho in the house with the AEW Women's Championship. You really love to see that. You also got the Blood Brothers 2-pack Cody on the other side to go with Dustin. We have another Series 1 Kenny Omega right there. We have a Series 2 Ray Phoenix to go with our Pentagon, which will be featured right now. So we have Series 2 Phoenix, and then we have Series 2 Pentagon right there. We have Series 3 Orange Cassidy in the house. We have Series 2 Regular Dustin, who's so damn tall, he sits out of the effing screen. We got Series 1 Nick Jackson again to go with our other Matt Jackson. We got Series 2 Adam Hangman Page to go back here. We have Series 3 Matt Jackson over here. We got the UK exclusive uh, Cody Rhodes figure that came with that basic ring. We got Series 1, no, not Series 1. We have Chris Jericho, ringside exclusive, little bit of the bubbly Jericho. We got another Jesus Christ at the face palms. We got the Iron Man champion Cody Rhodes again, so another Series 1 Cody. We have the AEW ringside exclusive authentic scale ring with the Kenny Omega figure, and that is what that figure is right there. We have my custom Cody, which is just, you know, a test subject. He kind of looks like a clone or something that went wrong or something, but there's that. We have our Series 2 John Moxley figure, which is beautiful. We also have my sort of like hybrid Mattel and Jazzwares. I kind of combined like AEW parts and Mattel parts to make this Kenny Omega that we use on Vindication with the Elite Championship. We got the Series 1 Brandy, and then the last two that we have, guys, are two of the Series 1 Jericho. So we have the Series 1 Jericho with the jacket on and the jacket off, and he is missing his right hand because I used it for uh, one of the Young Bucks, I think, but that is pretty much the AEW figure collection, man. Pretty pretty stacked, you know? It's, it's actually growing quite nicely. I also have uh, a whole another Series 3 off to my right that's still mocked, and then I also have uh, a Series 1 Cody, Kenny, and Jericho still mint in package, and then I also have, I think, a Darby Allen and an Orange Cassidy still on the way, so... 
Uh, yeah, the AEW figure collection is growing. You love to see that, but that pretty much does it for all of our loose figures, except for the John Cena's that I'm about to show you to finish off our collection video for 2021. Alright guys, here is my loose John Cena's that are not on the shelf, and there are literally like 70 in here, and I can't even get them out because all these figures are in the way here, but you guys can kind of see what we got going on. This whole entire box is full of John Cena elites, just like this one right here. I'm not gonna go through them, Brad. I, I just, I am exhausted. This video has taken me so long, and it's like 2 a.m., and now I still have to edit this video, so there are the John Cena's. Maybe one day we can just go through the John Cena's, or you guys can look back at them or something like that, but I'm gonna finish this video off by going up here. I've already put the customs back where they're supposed to go, but I did not get all the John Cena's down, so I may, you know what, I may just plug in footage of all the John Cena's from the recent room tour, run that clip, and then uh, I'll see you guys when we get back. And then finally for our display in the middle big section, guys, we do have John Cena. So this is probably my favorite part of my collection. You have the very beginning of John Cena's career at his debut, and it goes pretty much all the way up until current day. You have the, you know, you have the Ghostbusters. This is the most recent Elite. I don't have the WrestleMania one. I've turned it into different fix-ups, and I have a whole box dedicated to John Cena Elites that we'll get into, but here is just a quick overview of different attires, different moments in his career. I consider John Cena the GOAT. He's, he's my favorite wrestler of all time, up next to a couple others, but John Cena is at the very top, so I wanted to make sure my John Cena collection was on point with all the different t-shirts and the looks over the years and things. If you see one missing a hat or something, it's probably because it at one point took a shelf dive and then his hat flew across the room or something, and I will get that work done, but there is uh, the top shelf, and then we come back to the bottom here, and you got his different 2012 looks into 2013. You got the breast cancer awareness into his navy yellow and white into the other breast cancer attire into 2014 with all the different shirts and looks on into 2015. Nice blue color there. I love that United States Champ is here shirt there. You got the orange. We are missing the green one. I couldn't ever get anybody to make me a good green t-shirt so I do need to add that one. But going into modern day, different blue and orange and then into the green and then we have the Lance Catamaran, the Ghostbusters and then the MDT Live Champ is here when he won the MDT Championship. And then here at the end we have a custom like candle light of John Cena's face that my boy Brad Brad sent me. And then we have the armband that I actually mossed on a guy for at a WWE event. You know, John Cena tosses that thing into the crowd. Your boy's gonna rise up above them all and moss on their ass. So that's what we got. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that mercifully does it for the full collection. Here is all of my collection laid all across the room. You got all the AEW figures right there. And then all the customs you guys saw are back in their respective places until I can put all these other figures back on the John Brown shelves. But Jesus Christ, that took forever. Ever. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I am going to get out of here, man. I am absolutely exhausted. This video probably took me two and a half, three hours to film and that, oh my god, now I have to edit it and just... <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of people just turn these videos on like later on in the year and, you know, they'll just play it. So if you're sitting here playing it and you got to the very end, Brad, hit me with a hashtag MyDamnToys2021 down in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know that you stayed the whole way. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. you the line. I've been